And I was muted too. Okay. Well, we almost had a, a clean transition there at the start. How's it going, everybody? Welcome, welcome to Into the Breach Advanced Edition, which uh, launched today. And boy, am I excited to be here. How's it going, Zizzy, Faley, Hawkeye, Olivia 5K, the Jackster, Ego721, Firebird Lover. Kevners, thank you so much for four months of support. Hey there, Schmorf. Hey there, everybody. So exciting. Oh, misaligned cursor. Yes, I do remember do remember having that. Looks currently good. We'll see if that changes. I wonder if I can change my resolution here. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah. I have to do stretch, stretch scaling, otherwise the UI is going to be impossible for anyone on stream to see. That's right. Into the Breach in 4K is a fun experience. How's it going, Bringe? So, Into the Breach was a 2018 sort of little bite-sized tactics game by Subset Games, who made FTL faster than light. Delightful little sort of uh, mini puzzle experience. Into the Breach has you controlling three mechs, three giant robotic units controlled by time-traveling pilots in their attempt to save Earth from the VAC, giant alien bugs, essentially. And you do this in three or four turn little chess-style engagements on varied maps with different objectives. Pretty fun, but the, the fairly limited scope of Into the Breach made it uh, lose novelty after, I think, playing through each of the squads one or two times. In comes Into the Breach Advanced Edition. A few years later, this update is totally free for anybody who already owns Into the Breach. So if you have a copy uh, through any means, it'll be updated with this new content. Um, this game is also now available on iOS and mobile through Netflix. If you have a Netflix account, then you can play this on iOS or mobile for no additional charge. Which is kind of interesting. Imagine that deal worked out really, really well for the uh, the folks at Subset Games. And I don't think there would have been a mobile port of the game otherwise. So I think the deal ended up being probably a pretty good thing. Anyway, Into the Breach adds, from what I hear, five new squads. A lot of new equipment, new pilots and pilot skills, uh, new achievements for the new squads, of course, as well as a new game difficulty. I personally did find Into the Breach, although very enjoyable uh, as a roguelite format, it was... Uh, not a, always a consistent challenge. I'm struggling to remember actually ever losing an Into the Breach run. It might have happened one time. But out of 20 or so Into the Breach runs on uh, on hard for the vanilla difficulty, I think I only lost ever, ever once. So what I'm looking forward to is actually losing some runs of Into the Breach, hopefully, by checking out the, uh, the new difficulty. And we're going to do this on a new save profile here. Don't need the tutorial tips, thank you. The Lord. So playing from a, a complete blank state will uh, will try to get a win on the highest difficulty with every squad in Into the Breach, which is now t 15 or so. Grifflands is definitely a game I would describe as unique, Toaster King. Really enjoyed uh, my first playthrough uh, of Grifflands quite a bit. Did I say there are 15 squads now? I might be exaggerating, actually. Hold on. We'll, we'll, we'll count them properly. 
Humanity destroyed. Vectorite unstoppable. Mission failed. Time to go back and try again. So, let's see how many squads there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and the secret squad, fourteen. So, sorry, fourteen squads, not fifteen. Looks like they changed how the secret squad is unlocked. Previously, I, I think you had to get every single achievement, and now it's a uh, a cost. So the uh, the original ones of the base game are the Rift Walkers, the Rusting Hulks, the Zenith Guard, the Blitzkrieg, the Steel Judoka, the Flame Behemoths, and the Frozen Titan, uh, the Frozen Titans, and the Hazardous Mechs. Five new base squads were added. The Bomber Max, with a small army of remote explosives and flexible weapons, the tactical options are endless. The Arachnophiles. Research has shown that the remains of defeated Vec can be used to power smaller but no less deadly mechs. Smaller, angrier mechs. Mist Eaters. Airborne particles provide the material necessary for nanobots to repair these mechs. So these guys are kind of repair oriented. Interesting. Heat Sinkers. Advancements in heat transfer technology allow these mechs to absorb fire to power their weapons. So another fire based squad. I bet that's going to have some neat uh, mix and matches with the mechs from the Flame Behemoths. Or the equipment from the Flame Behemoths. And Cataclysm, armed with RST earth shattering technology. These mechs can turn the very land against their foes. How's it going, Faisal AES? You want to watch Twitch without ads, by the way, two easy ways to do that. Option A, if you're subscribed to the channel, you always get ad-free viewing either on the live content or on past broadcasts. So being subbed is a great way to uh, avoid the ads. If you watch a lot of channels and not just one, you can't justify subbing to every single channel you watch, I highly recommend Twitch Turbo. For the price of about three subs, you get ad-free viewing on every channel on Twitch all the time. Either of those options works super, super well. I agree, Twitch ads are not so, not so fun. All right, so with a fresh, Fresh school save. Our only our only valid choice is the Riftwalkers. I guess that's not technically true. We could pick random squad and get the achievements for random squad. Is that allowed? No, I'm not allowed to choose random and custom squad until I imagine we win with with I at least get another squad unlocked or something. Also, don't think it's fair to uh, to play random until we've got all the squads unlocked. Does Twitch Turbo help support my channel specifically? No, no, you're supporting Twitch directly if you have Twitch Turbo. But like I said, the whole point is um, if you're watching more than one channel, Twitch Turbo is not worth it compared to a sub. If you only ever watch one channel, you should just sub to that channel. But if you're a channel surfer on Twitch. Highly recommend Twitch Turbo. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited for um, I'm pretty excited for what custom and random squad uh, will do for us. So let me just talk about uh, unlocks here real quick. You'll notice that each of these. Unlockable squads requires golden coins. And there's only one way to get these, and that's to complete the achievements in the game. Every achievement gives you one coin. Each squad has a set of three achievements uh, that you can complete, and I think there's also one coin given for beating the run with that squad. 
So what we're going to look to do is play a run with the Rift Walkers and hopefully earn enough coins. To, uh, to unlock one of the brand new squads and try them out next. That means we start with the combat mech and it's punching fist cannon mech that kind of shoots a, a vec in a line and this artillery mech that can reposition multiple enemies. This is the sort of stock basic into the reach configuration. All the other squads are going to experiment slash expound upon uh, the basic ideas set out by this squad. All right. Um, start? Oh, here we go. Yes. Unfair. More vec, stronger vec. Power grid defense starts lower, but power grid repairs are doubled. Interesting. And you can individually choose which pieces of advanced edition to include. Enemy units, missions, equipment, and pilot abilities. We'll be playing with all of that. That's what I'm here to see, is the advanced content. So, let us begin. Just set up a channel point reward here. Perfect. Perfect. So we have pilots for everybody. Okay, sweet. So, on a run of Into the Breach, there are four islands. Archive Incorporated. This museum island recreates old Earth as it was before the oceans rose and nearly wiped out humanity. Uh, and we can't see the other ones yet. The Desert Island, the Toxic Island, and the Ice Island. Um... They'll be unlocked in any order on future runs, but for the, this run, we're kind of have to do them in a, a fixed order here. We're doing all we can to protect the refugees, but we need your help against the VAC. We'll assist with some of our old Earth artifacts if we can. So, run of Into the Breach consists of your choice of two to four islands. You get to do them again in, in any order you wish. And you have a choice of when to attempt the, the final mission. You can do it after Island 2, 3, or 4. So you can kind of customize the length of run if you want. Leggy, the ranged mech. You got it. I don't know if you're allowed to change the color once you've started. I don't think that's a thing. Leggy. Piloted by Zizzy Viviva Cat. The half human, half cat. Islet alien. Name something Bob. Can do. Bob the Brute. Piloted by Anna's Bonner. Good stuff. One step from Eden or Monster Train? Ooh. <clears throat> One step from Eden is, I think, very, very love it or hate it. Um, can you... Can you dodge enemy attacks in real time while playing cards from a deck-building game? If so, One Step from Eden might be your jam. Otherwise, yikes. That game is crazy.
Yes, real real reaction time needed while playing a turn-based sort of card game. You also have to be able to aim your like your card attacks. You have to play the card strike and aim the strike at the same time. It's, it's spooky stuff. Anyway, on the, the four islands of Into the Breach are broken into regions. Each of these islands will get to do four missions, four of the seven regions before the island collapses, well, before a boss vac appears, and we have to deal with that. Each of these areas is its own little mini tactics mission that'll last for four, four combat rounds or so, during which there are two bonus objectives we're trying to achieve, bonus objectives that have Um, oh, you start with 0% grid defense on unfair. I like that. That actually sounds like fair difficulty to me. That's cool. No grid defense, huh? So each of the secondary objectives gives you a reward equal to the icon shown. Uh, each star is a point of corporate reputation, which we'll use at the end of this island to purchase upgrades for our squad. The lightning bolts are power grid supply, replenishing damage that we take. I see that we get back double, uh, double power supply, so that almost sounds like the game is expecting me to take some damage. That's going to be fun. Really fun. Tidal waves sound fun. <clears throat> so each of these... Rewards, like I said, are tied to a specific objective within the mission. Let's uh, let's do this one first and and see how things go. So, all of the missions in Into the Breach take place. I guess I am a little bit too large now, huh? Shrunk a little bit. Each of the missions in Into the Breach takes place on a an eight by eight essentially chess grid, uh, into which we get to deploy an initial position, and then there are, oh my, uh, some spooky enemies already. And then there are uh, enemy VEC that are deployed. Hmm. Do we want to put the punch mech here? I'd like to be able to punch them sideways if possible. Cannon mech can go here? Or lower? I probably want my artillery mech hereabouts in the back line so that we can... we can push things. Initial deployment's always a bit of a trick for me in Into the Breach. The enemy AI behaves in fairly predictable ways once you get to know them. It's been a while since I've played, a couple years, so I don't exactly remember how enemies are gonna to move and behave. Exactly. I guess we'll uh, we'll sort of see that. But keeping my movement options open seems like a reasonable idea. Um, in fact, baiting baiting an enemy into attacking me might be a good idea. Let's have these as our starting positions and see what happens. The scorpion has three move, right? One, two. Can't get over to that, but could entangle the mech, which would be a problem for me. Let's actually have the mech start there. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen by putting the tank over here. It was to get this elf, one of the enemies to try to occupy this line. Can enemies be pushed off the map? No, the edges of the map are hard boundaries and enemies cannot be displaced off of them. However, there are various terrain hazards that enemies can be pushed into, such as cavernous holes in the ground um, or water, which will instantly kill most vec. Any vec that's not flying or a boss will be killed by uh, immersion in water. And that's about what's, what, that's what's going to happen to this firefly very shortly. So each turn of Into the Breach consists of all of the Vec sort of declaring exactly what move they're going to do. They move to a position and then 
sort of preview an attack that they're going to make um, on their turn. In this case, we've got three all absolutely mercilessly mercilessly, excuse me, um, surrounding this building in a surely disastrous way. And we can see what order all of the effects are going to occur in via the attack order button on the top here. Our goal on our turn is to use our mechs and their attacks to either dispose of threats by killing them or to reposition Vec so that the enemy turn is as harmless as possible. One major thing we can do to that end is to uh, turn the Vec against one another by repositioning them to attack one another or putting them in each other's way, essentially. And now there are even more terrain hazards than before, too. House Envy, thank you so much for three months of support. So welcome for all the great content. So. Another very helpful thing in uh, Into the Breach is that once per little tactics mission, you get a reset turn. If you forget about a particular enemy or there's an interaction you don't understand and it, it goes a different way than you expected or you just plum missed something there's once per battle you can reset a turn go right back to the beginning you're also allowed to at any time undo a move on any of your units each of your units each turn get one move and then one attack one use of one of their attack equipments that'll show up here on the bottom. Currently all of our equip all of our units only have one piece of equipment, but you can have I think up to two. Uh, and the you can also have the repair action, which takes up your attack as well. Repair one damage and remove various status effects, including ice. Uh, yeah, we're running with we're running with OG alerts today. Figured I'd go classic style. Why not, right? So let's see. I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I like that a lot. As a uh, a move here. So our, our artillery attack will do one damage to anything directly hit by it. And it also pushes all four adjacent tiles, which means that we can get multi-value in situations like this. So now what's happening is the Alpha Firefly is killing the Soldier Scion. What happens after you go, though? You're attacking here. Oh, that's fun. Block the new spawn. Actually, only one new vet coming in, too. I think if we have our brute shoot the Alpha Firefly, we mostly solve that. Um, okay, goes first. This Firefly's attack will hit the building behind if we don't use our our body to block it, or if we don't kill this uh, this Firefly. I think what we want to do then is move here and punch it so that it dies when the bonus health is lost. Pretty sure that's how that's going to work. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we'll do this. That causes this Vec to die when the Alpha Firefly hits it. We body block this shot. These two solve each other. Actually, no, the... Oh, no, 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 no.
Uh, the Soldier Scion won't actually die because the water will submerge this Firefly and kill it before it attacks. So I can't rely on that. Fortunately, I'm not relying on that. Okay, that just means this, this creature won't actually die yet. That's fine. All right, that, that death doesn't actually occur. So our goal is also to end this battle with less than four total mech damage. That includes after repairing here. He Who Watches says, This game always felt like more of a puzzle game than a strategy game. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that's that's somewhat true. Once, once you get onto the battlefield, it very much becomes a puzzle game during these little... the execution thereof. The... in-between is, is giving yourself more options for the, the puzzle part. Hmm. Definitely don't want to shoot the building directly, because that... We need the building immune upgrade for that. That's right. Um, but I could do something like this, right? We can shoot here. And that will partially solve our problems. From there, we can have the mech punch... Alpha Fire fly out of the way, and the tank can shoot this thing down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. So we can solve all of the problems here. We have the artillery mech fire here. That kills this guy. Uh, doesn't displace the Hornet, because the Hornet it collides with the Firefly. In time, two units would be pushed into one another. Instead, both take one damage, which is what's happening here. It also displaces this to the uh, tile next to the coal plant, and from there our combat mech can punch it onto one of the hazard tiles, and we'll have the Firefly gone. Still haven't dealt with the Soldier Scion, but we don't actually need to, as all it's doing is providing passive bonuses to the Vec. Killing Vec is absolutely not required in Into the Breach, although it is advantageous, as killed Vec result in sold, uh, ex experience for your pilots. If one pilot got the kill, they get all the XP. Uh, if it was a friendly fire or environmental kill, the experience is somewhat divided between your pilots. Uh, I think our pilot Ralph here, yeah, two bonus experience per kill as well. So any kills Ralph personally gets will result in more XP. I like that. We also get to position our Brute to block a tile. Um, at the end of many rounds, Vec starts spawning. Let's see if I can find the right spot. That looks a little better. There, then I'm not... Oh, the size of that changes depending on what it is. I see. Hmm. I'll stay more or less where I am. Okay. So, we get to block a spawn tile that prevents... Well, delays, rather, that unit from spawning. A spawn tile that's blocked stays for future turns, so if you try to block spawns too much, you can uh, actually put yourself into a bit of a pickle. So yes, environment is before this attack occurs, otherwise we'd be having that building destroyed. So everybody got two XP because that was an environmental kill rather than one soldier getting all the XP. Ooh. Hmm. That is a troubling Alpha Hornet. Oh, I see what we can do, though. Okay. So the Alpha Hornet has a two-tile attack. It's also a flying unit, so it's immune to the water. Our units can't fire their weapons when in the water. So we can't just have the Brute push it out of the way. What we can do is have our artillery mech push it out of the way. On this tile. And then it'll kill the Scion, and we can have Ralph kill this thing. 
That's not a problem at all. And I guess we'll just repair the damage. There's no real need to do anything else at this point. This poor mindless Vec. Okay, so that was our, our first little mini mission of this Into the Breach run, and it went absolutely flawlessly. Good. So we get that bonus power grid. And we get one point of reputation. If we can complete this island without failing any secondary objectives, or any of the, sorry, bonus objectives, then we'll get what's called a perfect island at the end, and that'll give us an additional reward. Yes, you are allowed to take your actions in any order on your turns. You can you can move all your mechs and then attack with all your mechs. You can move and then attack, move and then attack, move and then attack. Um, any any order of operations that you need to achieve. What you can't do is move more than once, barring special pilot abilities. You can't split your movement. If you're allowed to move four tiles, you can't move two of them, then attack, then move two. You have to move all at once. Okart Monster, thanks for six months of support. The half year. Hey, Toki Tori, I really enjoy Into the Breach, and I'm really excited for all the, the new content in uh, Advanced Edition here. So I'm wondering if we do these three, or if I go through the evacuation site and try to get four rep. Oh, actually, wait. This is... Two power and four rep. This is... Four power and four rep. It's just better to do... These three, rather than these three. Well, that makes it easy. What do we got here? Defend the artillery supports. Defend the satellite launches. That's right, there's two satellites that are being launched. We have to defend them. Or we can do this, where we have an artillery support objective. Let's do this one first. Wow, two Alpha Hornets to start. That is spooky stuff. Okay, we need to make sure that those... What does this thing even do? Quite a bit of damage, actually. <laughs> What's your movement? Alpha Hornet, five move. So one, two, three, four, five. One of them is likely to target these two buildings, which means our artillery mech needs to be able to... to uh, deal with that. Hmm. Scorpion's likely to entangle something. Put the brute there. The artillery mech back here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's exactly where I thought they were going to go. Actually, I'm well equipped to deal with that. Oh, we could even make it block a tile. Good news. So, this looks like a bit more of a challenge than the previous first turn. I don't know if we could prevent all this damage. How's it going, Sacraville? Yes, we're playing on a completely fresh save file here. So, great question. Uh, our... In Into the Breach, your health is in the form of the power grid. Rather than each of our mechs have their individual health bars that keeps them alive. Um, but our three mechs dying is not what wins or ends a run of Into the Breach. It's all about the power grid. If the power grid value reaches zero, then humanity is wiped out and, and we lose. Power grid is reduced whenever buildings are destroyed. So the VEC attack the buildings, that essentially lowers our health. We have to protect the buildings uh, or we'll lose the run. Let's 
Let's see. So this hits two tiles, and it does do friendly fire. Noted. Okay, we can actually use the artillery to deal with this one's turn. Artillery pushes this bug out of the way. Unfortunately, we can't create a friendly fire incident here, can we? Not to my satisfaction. How do I deal with this? I don't know that I do. Yeah, I don't think I have a way to do that. This thing only has one movement. Always gonna throw them. Where do the Rift Walkers go on vacation? Into the beach. Lumble Turtle says, have I played Into the Breach before? Absolutely, yeah. I've played through Into the Breach, I think two times, uh, about 50 hours total of experience with this game uh, before Advanced Edition was released. Feels like a tough situation, but I suppose that's why it's called Unfair Difficulty, huh? Take the move here. There's no really viable other move to make, so you might as well take that shot. We'll push this thing out of the way. So where's our punch mech gonna go? Punch mech is not well positioned here. Hmm. Mechs versus Vex. Nowhere else this could go, huh? There's no other way to deal with this thing. Can't get you far enough. This guy can't punch the Alpha Vac either. Hmm. I think we have to let this attack occur, which is fine by me. Now, we don't want to actually punch the uh, the Hornet again. Oh, I can't stand here, right? Because we're going to get... That's a hazard tile, too. Probably want to go here. Yeah, looks like the only reasonably safe tile. So we block the new spawn, this hornet dies before it... Since it's on fire, uh, it'll take one damage. So it dies before it attacks, this hornet whiffs, this hornet lights this tile on fire, this attack occurs. Oh yeah, and you haven't... I could light that on fire prematurely, I don't think that matters much. Hundred and ninety-eight humans. RIP. Alright, well now you're just making it easy. So thank you. Not making it easy, because the artillery support is in the way. Oh, artillery support has two health, though, so we can, we're allowed to just shoot it. Okay, that's good. Yeah, we can just shoot our own artillery support. So we'll punk, punch this hornet to move out of the way. The artillery can reposition this hornet, which is attacking first. Does two damage. Hmm. Oh, we got new music here. I haven't heard this one yet. Could punch the... No, you're punching that, right? Hmm. Do I have to take another point here? 
I'm not sure I can deal with the scorpion's attack. The brute is a bit out of position here. Well, not necessarily. Well, yeah, it is, actually. Probably the best thing I can do is block this spawn. Then I at least have some shooting lines here. Next turn. Or we could hit the Scion for a little bit of damage. Don't know that that's actually helpful. Hmm. push the hornet down. We'd have the artillery support move first, hit the hornet. I could actually punch the hornet to kill it. I wanted to. I don't think that's a great idea. I could put the brute and shoot it too. That's also an interesting option. Hmm. choices. Uh, although I'd rather move the brute here and shoot the thing. Hmm. Last Kerbubble, thanks for the 100 bits. Usually prefer the chat doesn't, uh, doesn't suggest play lines. Uh, too much with Into the Breach. I tend to find that um, mostly that ends up flooding the chat with suggestions that are about 20% unhelpful, 80% unhelpful, and I don't have the mental capacity to determine which is which quickly enough. So it ends up with a bunch of suggestions that I, I can't discern whether they're actually valid or not. I think I've, I've almost figured it out here. So, Brute goes here. Blops that. Go here. Bard this one. Wait. Artillery mech solve anything. So this one needs to be displaced too. Oh, do you go where it was? Am I allowed to do that? It goes here, shoots. You punch. You go here, shoot here. Yes. Yes, that's it. Okay. Figured it out. Oh, that's how that works. I understand. Right, not allowed to target like that. Uh, hmm. Not considered that part. Don't want to punch it into the building as we'll take damage for doing that. I might be okay with taking the two damage here in order to get this Alpha Hornet off the map. Let's try it. that's not too much self-damage. If a mech is destroyed, the pilot inside is killed permanently, but the mech itself is repaired and can be piloted by an autopilot, so you're always always able to have three functional mechs. It's just a question of, uh, is there anybody alive inside?
Oof, the artillery mech is... Uh, the artillery support unit is useless this turn, unfortunately. Almost assuredly want to knock the Alpha Scorpion onto this tile to block and causes it to kill the Scorpion. Unfortunately, that occurs after the grid damage is taken. I can damage some stupid mountains. <laughs> hmm. That's a block and a kill. This is just avoidable by not being in the tiles. That's nice. Um, and actually, to punch the Hornet would be to put it in a position where it could harm something. You only have two health, so actually, yeah, we have... I can't do both of these things, huh? Hmm. Can't land a shot on that tile. Next turn could be ugly, though. Should you continue to take fire damage? Yeah, you'll continue to take fire damage. Hmm. Which means next turn this this tank will be useless. I'll have to repair with it. Very interesting. Can't punch it into the buildings. Can't end my turn on a fire hex. I think this is what I want to do. Shot. Oh, that's not going to kill, actually. Hold on. Right, that'll only do one damage. So if I push this unit here, I think I'm just necessarily taking the grid damage. Which actually means I might be able to have the tank be useful next turn if we push this way. This is going to die to the scorpion attack, have our tank repair, undo the fire. Oh yeah, I like that more, actually. Okay, that, that sets me up better for next turn. Should be a bit more concerned by. Just wish I could block that tile with the tank, but I can't quite... magic push shenanigans I can do to, to achieve that, I don't think. But that'd be pretty funny. Not allowed to move into the water? Guess not. Okay, probably want our mech to be reasonably available to save this thing next turn too, huh? So maybe we go like here? Here. Pick one? Okay, let's do that. Or I could shoot like this, actually. That does prevent the one grid damage, but then makes the brute useless next turn. I think I'm just going to take the one damage. Who can act? Oh, yeah, you. The
Hundreds of years, huh? I kind of find that hard to believe. Hmm. Ah, there's some problems. Unfortunately, our... Wow, that, that Hornet went so far away that my combat mech is not helpful. Although, we could just do a body block. Uh, let's see. This seems actually pretty straightforward upon review. We use... Displacement Technology push the Hornet away. Actually, we can do better than that. We can solve, like, three things with one, uh, one punch here. This. Pushes our Brute out of the way. Pushes the Hornet out of the way. Damages this stinky thing, which is only doing one damage. Okay. Pretty happy with this. Let's see if we can get a kill here. We can kill the... Yeah. Here we can't reach anything meaningful. Okay, uh, that'll have to do. That's right, Mr. Spokes. Uh, Into the Breach is now available on iOS and Android through Netflix. You've got a Netflix subscription. You can download it for free and play it. Hey, Mirage, grats on that first Ascension 20 win. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that mission. We took two power grid damage, but we restored it with the reward from the mission, staying at full, which is completely fine by me. We'll build up grid defense if we can do missions a little bit better than that, but I'm very happy with that outcome. Note that we completed both bonus objectives, so we're still on track for a perfect island here. Ooh, classic. Do not kill the volatile Vec. Or defend the satellite launches. Those seem pretty tough, actually. This seems like a much easier mission upon review, actually. Maybe I do want to do excavation site. Just because it'll be easier to, uh, perfect. That's right, Netflix is kind of pushing their way into the gaming space. And they've been signing in exclusivity deals with a couple of games. Into the Breach is one such title. Okay, I'm actually going to min-max by max-minning here. Take the easy mission so that we can get the better rewards, hopefully. Here we start with several buildings that have a shield. All our, our only goal is protect the emergency batteries, which have a shield on them. That shield will absorb the first hit of any kind that would strike. Here. I think we want the artillery mech kind of able to broadly move. Thinking about these starting locations, I'm not sure if that's a good idea, but what we're going to do... Hopefully we'll be able to push a vec or two into water here. We also get our first pod. Time capsule. Time pod. Interesting. Time Capsule gives us bonus rewards if we can finish the mission, usually a power core. Uh, if we can finish the mission without having it destroyed by a Vec. Also just pick it up. Attack order's a little awkward here, huh? This one's going to be hard to deal with. You can punch it so it's hitting the shielded thing. Yeah, unfortunately the airstrike is in a totally random location here. It feels like uh, we could be having a much easier turn if that had uh, been somewhere else. Here's a fun option. Push multiple things out of the way at the same time. Probably punch the Hornet to this tile. Although I can't do that if the artillery mech is there, huh? 
So I'd have to punch, then move the artillery mech here. Shoot here. That'll do one damage to the punch mech. Clears the way for the brute to do what exactly? I'm not sure I care. Get rid of this Hornet if I'm willing to to do another point of damage to my own mech, or we can push the Alpha Firefly further afield here. Or I can shoot the Soldier Scion onto the Airstrike, and then all the enemies lose their bonus health. That might be desirable, too. Bonus health is annoying. Let's do that. Let's do that. How's it going, Shade Brigade? Glad to hear the YouTube videos have helped you in your Spire play. It's one of my favorite things to hear from chatters. Okay, that airstrike actually very helpful. Uh, although I would need artillery to reposition the Alpha Firefly in the right way. Brute can shoot this one dead. You can punch the Alpha Hornet dead. Okay, and then the shield will save that. So that's a, this is a really good turn, actually. I don't think we have a whole lot of complicated stuff to think about, thankfully. The airstrike occurs first. Generally speaking, environmental stuff occurs before enemy any enemies are allowed to take their turn. Pilot level up is an excellent find. Here. This. causes the shield to be lost, but otherwise it's really good. Lots of XP for everybody, too. <laughs> Problem solved itself. Lots new incoming vec, though. Usually the, the spawns are dictated by the number of enemies on the field, so... Killing too many enemies early in the fight can have the unintended consequence of just having to deal with more enemies shortly thereafter. That's not always welcome. Depending on how well you're able to block the new spawns, that may or may not be good. I see that our new uh, skills skilled. Went up by two health, so I think that's the skill. I don't really know what the skilled skill does, or even means, necessarily. I don't know where for this thing to actually help this turn. Hmm. The only artillery shot that can reposition this meaningfully is in the kill zone, and that will kill our own units. So we don't want to be doing that. Just do this. And then put you kind of centrally located for next turn. Light that on fire? To what end exactly? Not sure. Or mountain. All right, final turn. Good. Bad? Relatively bad. Ooh. Okay, this actually doesn't seem too bad, because we can, can shoot the scorpion out of the way with the brute. That frees Leggy. Leggy will reposition the hornet. 
Oh, crap. The combat mech is tied up in the death zone, though. Uh-oh. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, dear. That is a huge problem, actually. Hmm. We are going to have to get creative to solve that one. Shoot. Oh, I don't like this. Everything's gone wrong. So, if our pilot stays where they are, they'll be killed. Yeah, not being able to move after attacking is definitely frustrating here. If, if only we could punch and then move, but that's not how it works, unfortunately. So, we could have the Brute shoot our combat mech to free them. Unfortunately... That would then result in the Hornet being able to destroy these two buildings. The artillery also can't reposition until it's freed, because it too is tangled up by a scorpion here. So my original plan was to have brute free artillery, have artillery deal with the Hornet. Now I don't know what to do. Puncher's move stat. My move stat is three on the uh, on the Titan Mech. Or sorry, no, four actually. Four move. Hold on, that might change things. Four move. push the puncher and the horn at the same time? What? There would be... They're not even vaguely close. Oh, you mean these two? Oh! Again, we can't move the artillery or the puncher until either of them are freed, so the brute has to go first, pretty much no matter what. Question is how can I free the artillery mech with the the combat mech? Because if we if we use the brute to free the combat mech, that means shooting the combat mech into the fire here. At which point we can move one, two, three. We can't get over to the scorpion. If we punch our own mech, it'll die. Unless you can tell me another valid move with the brute that frees the combat mech without itself being destroyed by the airstrike. Air Can't fire from the water. This tile is death. This tile is death. 
can't hit from here, here. Shooting the scorpion into the combat mech won't free it. I don't think there's any better line there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I see it. I see it. Ah. We free the artillery. Use the artillery to push the combat mech out of the way. Combat mech goes one, two, three, four. I see it. Yes. That results in only one grid damage. That's the way. Yes. Yeah, this has to be it then, right? Shame I can't hit this, because then we could also, if we could solve from here, we could uh, could even prevent the grid damage. But this will be fine. Let's see, you go here-ish. This tile. How that mech goes here. Punch. Yeah, it's definitely going to be the best outcome. So it's going to be very difficult to do no grid damage on the unfair difficulty, I think. That's why you're given double grid repairs. In fact, we even get to overcharge a little bit. We're now at 2% chance to resist grid damage. We got a new pilot, Kai Miller. Mech is boosted if full health, otherwise minus one move. I'm not sure what that means. And a reactor core. Skilled, plus one move and two mech HP. That's a really, really good pilot ability. So that's why the mech had plus one move there, actually. I don't think I would have realized that we had that solve on the final turn if chat hadn't pointed out to me the, the bonus move there. Ongo Gablogian. Absolutely. Yeah, skill seems very good. Very, very good. So, what is boosted? Arrogant boost. Swap out Anna's Bonna for now. An excess of pilots currently, that's okay. Plus one damage until the next attack. Okay, we actually want that in the route then. Just thinking it might be a a uh, movement boost. Amazing. Cord repository. Kill, difficult to kill seven enemies here. I saw this. Uh, this is one of the new environmental things. Added by Advanced Edition. Bad repairs. Your mech starts this mission with one health, but full heals are scattered all over the place. Antiquity Row. And with eight spaces on fire. That's a lot of forest. The local forests in this region are camouflaging Vec movement and must be cleared out. Some of these trees may be ancient, but we must protect our relics. Sounds like a fun one. While it's raining, no less. While it's raining, no less. That's cool. If one of our mechs falls in battle, the mech is not lost for good, but the pilot is. Oh yeah, we should use our reactor core too. So. When we have a reactor core, we can install these onto our mechs to provide additional points of power. And those powers can be dynamically used to provide upgrades. Um, bonus health, bonus movement, special properties on the weapons like immunity to buildings for the artillery weapon. Two power cores lets us dash with the punch. I think five move on the prime sounds pretty good, actually. 
give it some serious mobility. Or we could go for more movement on, say, the, the brute or the artillery thing. Plus one move on the brute might be important. One, to take advantage of the bonus damage, and two, in case we do take damage, I'd like to have more than just two movement. Let's do that. My bob was feeling a little slow. I could also defend the satellite launches. Instead of trying to light things on fire. Actually, that sounds more reasonable. Let's do this one. Satellite launches have two health apiece. Five turns. Two Alpha Vec. You got it, bud. That's reasonable. And we'll have the artillery mech able to kind of hit anywhere along these lines. Back are going to be sorry now. Purple is the boost. Arrogant boost. Well, full health, mech has plus one damage. So I see three problems with, uh, unfortunately, not three easy solutions. The brute is going to struggle to contribute here. No way to get this hornet off. Hmm. Or not hornet. It's pushing them into a mountain damage them. Yes. Yes, it does. I have to take a bit of grid damage here. As usual. Punch this out of the way easily. Pro problem is there's no way to have the brute shoot one of these two and have the mech punch the other because the there's no way to, to reposition here with where the combat mech currently is. Which means there's no way to solve all three of these threats on this turn as far as I can tell. So, I think what I do is something like this. Shoot here. This gets pushed onto the spawn point, which is helpful. But then I, I can't solve the other two problems, because again, the, the brute and the combat mech are in each other's way. Brute hits F4, tank hits G5, and yeah, how, it, my question is, how do you propose that the tank hits G, G5 while the uh, while the combat mech is on F5? It's blocking the shot. So, that's the crux of the problem, and that's why I can't prevent one grid damage here, I don't think. Yeah, moving through enemies is a, a pilot skill. It's a very good one. 
That's a very good one. Could try to like finish somebody here. Uh, I think we just do this though. And yeah, that is related to the initial positioning of our of our units. I I maybe could have foreseen that. It would have been a struggle for me though. Hey. All right, now you guys are complicating things. All right, so this satellite is launching. And that happens after enemies go. That makes sense. Satellites are not self-defending, unfortunately. So with you tied up, probably have to punch. Brute. Hmm. This only does one damage, actually, so we're allowed to, to tolerate that. Brute shoot there, and then artillery reposition. In fact, you go first with a three damage attack, right? Interesting. So I'm thinking something like this. Push two here. Artillery hits here. This guy gets knocked onto the spawn point. Hits his friend. Friend does one damage to the satellite, but that's okay. And you punch. Let's do that. That the best move necessarily? Deeply unclear. Could get closer if I wanted to. I don't feel the need to. Unfortunately, that doesn't kill because I haven't killed the Soldier Scion. But again, the satellite has two health and there's no penalty for taking the one damage. One health, you have one health, two and two. Combat mech can take it. Alright, probably gonna have the brute shoot the scion. That should kill the other two one health back. And actually, that means these will both have one health also. Okay, yeah, so we should just be able to kill everything here. Yeah, dole out the XP. Could push that one to block. I think we'd actually want one more vac next turn. So that we can kill it for more XP. Zizivivivacat, let me be the first to congratulate you on your new promotion. Dazzled by my own brilliance. Fern Ferret says that if an attack that pushes an enemy into a building kills it, does it still damage the building? Yes. Yes, likewise for friendly units. Great question. That could be quite relevant. Oh, <laughs> we were wondering is that still a pilot skill? It sure is. Three grid defense. Aw, oh, yeah. Classically considered to be the the worst pilot upgrade. I'm sure that's still the true. Technician, repair one HP at the start of each turn. Now that I like. Automatic repair. Hey, don't knock that grid defense. I'm sure we'll be taking a, a few more hits to the grid as we keep going through here.
So, the Hive Leader has appeared. Drawn out by our offensive against the Vec, the Hive Leader is assaulting the Corporate HQ. So, in five turns, we have to destroy the Firefly Leader, which has a ton of health. And protect the Corporate Tower. The other buildings are nice, but not necessarily important. Let's see, I don't want to get entangled by you. One, two, three. So we can go. This is fine. This is fine. That should be fine. Something like that, I think, for our initial positioning. Stay out of the range of that. Scorpions entangle. That's a great move by the uh, the boss. I'm sure we can take advantage of that. Hmm. So boss goes first, shoots in two directions for big damage. Hmm. quite a conundrum. Very sexy double kill, yes, but that double kill... Oh, actually, yeah, this one's not attacking the building, so yes, this is just a clean... clean double KO. Bob is the scorpion... here. It's a bit of an obstacle. So the double kill is acquired by using the artillery to push here, yeah? Don't know how to prevent this grid damage if I do that. Stack does four. Punch you on there. That doesn't seem like a good idea. I think I take the grid damage and punch into the Alpha Wasp. That's that was my intended line here. I think is is we just have to take this one in damage. We use the Brute to shoot this thing, just so that we can damage it a little bit. Alright, I'll do that move. I'm gonna reposition here. This is gonna kill both of these. We then get to punch for three damage on the boss. Its attack will do nothing, thankfully. Um, but the Brute alone can't deal with the Scorpion here. We can shoot it and reposition it, but it's not going to be prevented here. Actually, wait. Oh no, that would kill the Alpha Scorpion. Because another thing I could do is have the... Boss just, just punch like that, but then this thing is not prevented, right? Could push... Push... Push and kill the... The Alpha Scorpion, but I don't think I would, or the Alpha Hornet. I don't think that's a good idea, though. Okay. Let's take the damage. The, the shot from the boss does deal four damage, so it would be a kill outright. this Alpha Hornet off the map would be a good idea. But my 5% chance. Not know we're gonna get a scorpion out of the deal here. Actually, that's perfect. I can just punch you into the water. Well then be gone, sir. 
this is a bit more of a problem, huh? Or is it? If we reposition the Firefly leader, we can have it kill the Alpha Hornet for us. Can I reposition the, uh, the Firefly leader, though? Yes, because if I shoot this, then that tile will be available. From there, we can knock the leader here. That kills the Alpha Hornet. And you punch this thing. Sure. Stop doing that now. Hmm. Alright, I think it's about time we kill the leader here. If it's all possible. better I can do, though. So currently the Firefly Leader is in a, a very nasty position. Got a few fun options, though. Solve this just by punching here. I could take a grid damage and kill the boss. Doesn't seem worth it. Can't shoot the boss from here, unfortunately. Not to take the grid damage if I can avoid it. Let's see, we can also do something like this. That doesn't actually free us. This does, though. Oh! Well, I think that's it, because then we can. No, you can't make it far enough down to actually reposition the boss this way, huh? But you've got four move. One. Two, three, four. No, I can't. So that also takes grid damage, right? Because if we push this Hornet into the firing path here. Tower's only got one hit point. That's right. So no amount of damage is acceptable. We can't, uh, can't push the boss into it either. If you're wondering about that, that would be fun. But also not acceptable. Shoot on B4. Oh, interesting. Hmm. And then we can punch to here. Block, shot, and kill. Yeah, that's the line. Oh no, I can't block shot and kill because we get pushed into a building. Actually, no, I don't get pushed. This is not a pushing shot. Yeah, we can just do that. It means we'll lose the full health bonus, but I'm okay with that. Get the boss off the field. Still two turns of this, or is it the last turn? Yikes. Okay, yeah, this is the last turn. First, huh? It's not as bad as it looks, because again, we can, we can sort of solve multiple problems at the same time. That's not quite true, huh? Hmm. 
push you here. Scorpion's a real problem, huh? Scorpion's having so much health. Not my favorite thing. Shoot you and then punch and then reposition, but we still take one grid damage in that situation. Hmm. We block here, right? We would shoot the scorpion to this tile, punch here, dealing the remaining three to get a kill, and then the artillery mech can can push this unit out of the way by shooting here, but this still take one grid damage. So, unfortunately the attack order here is not particularly favorable, unless we could, no, hmm. Yeah, we can't use the, the Alpha Firefly to kill the Scorpion. Otherwise, that would make a much easier situation for us. I might just take the grid damage. I think that's probably what I'll just do, is take the one. I'm not seeing a better line. I accept. Actually, what if I reposition first? Plus one. No, we don't want to do that because that results in the Alpha Firefly. Right, also, just pushing the Alpha Firefly in this direction doesn't result in not taking damage because there's this building here. I don't think I was calculating that properly. We'd have to body block with Combat Mech. Yeah, I, I think my initial plan actually had two results damage being taken. This looks... There we go. There we go, we just tank that. See why they call it unfair. All right, but the important thing is we never failed a secondary objective, and that means that we should receive a perfect island bonus. We get one free reward of our choice. Repair drop, heal all player units, including disabled mechs, once per battle for a full heal, interesting. Pilot Ghana. Drop anywhere on the map, damaging adjacent enemies. I like that on the lower difficulties a little bit more, maybe. Or plus four. Grid power. Restore all the damage that we took, and then some. Which actually feels pretty reasonable. You can also take one of the items and then sell it for a corporate reputation. To take the pilot. We already have a surplus of pilots, actually. I'm curious about the repair drop. That could combo with other things to be pretty hilarious. Like if we get the. Uh, if we get the self destruct item, this could be hilarious. Doesn't seem like it takes uh, power, huh? Let's try it. I'm wondering if I, I actually wanted the grid heal. I think we can, yeah, we can just buy grid power for one rep. But again, you get double healing, so only one rep for two points. That's not bad. Oh. Pilots survive death. Well now. 
So you're saying... I can full heal everybody back from death. With this combination of things. Now that's very intriguing. Here's a new item. Ricochet Rocket. Bounce a projectile off one target to hit another. And a much needed ally immune upgrade option. Wonder if that makes you immune to the damage or the damage on the push, both. Another important thing you can buy is reactor cores here. One reactor core for three corporate reputation. Personally, I'm thinking we buy medical supplies, reactor core, one grid power. We could sell the extra pilot, get even more grid power. I might want to level up Anasbana. Swap out Kai Miller now that she's got grid defense. Can't you repair them out of death? Well, if if uh, if the mech is destroyed and then repaired back, the mech is in, is fine, but the pilot is not. The pilot will be turned into juice and extruded later with a power washer or something. But this way, we get to have our units die and the pilots are alive. That's what I'm gonna do for now. So that has to go on somebody. And then we put the repair on the person who's not going to be getting killed. It's the brute for now. The brute won't be able to restore itself from death. We have one more power core to spend as well. Getting building immunity on the artillery is something I'd like to be able to do. Can reputation be carried over to the next island? No. No, you have to spend all your rep. It's reputation with the corporation you just defended. Uh, when we leave the island, we're going to a different corporation. Reputation with one corp does not transfer to the other. All right. So that was our first island done on unfair difficulty. That was an interesting challenge. The propensity for power grid damage to occur was definitely a little frightening. My advisors insist we're losing the fight. They also insist that I trust you. I took Kai off so that we can level up somebody, uh, Anna's Bonnie here. Only 7 XP from level 2. I want to see what they get before I decide what else to do here, although we might miss the boost in the next combat. High threat detected. So there's an extra, extra Alpha Vec. Oh, a Terraformer mission. These are always my fun. My favorites. Terraformer can be used to murder everything. Although it has to fire in each direction one time by the end of the mission. This will get us an extra reactor core, which will make the future objectives on this island easier. So I do think we want to do this first. But it could be tough. Got an Alpha Beetle, Alpha Scorpion, Alpha Hornet. Two Alpha Scorpions, four Alpha Vec, two regular Vec to start. Unfair indeed. Again, I want to start out of scorpion range, probably. Although, maybe luring... Luring Vec to their doom actually sounds pretty good. So let's try to do that. I could go... like this. Yeah, I figured that might happen. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. Okay, so the Terraformer can fire four times this mission, killing all life in the direction fired, essentially. Oh, here's maybe where I actually utilize the ability of my own units to die, or no, we could just have the combat mech move and paunch, right? Launch you, obliterate these tiles. Artillery mech can... Oh yeah, yeah, no, 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 I know what we're doing, okay. Terraform these dials, please. Launch that there. Wait, no. Oh, yeah, I have to go here. Ooh. It's going to do one damage. Also, I don't have an answer to the Alpha Scorpion this way, do I, huh? Oh, shoot. to do that, I should have repositioned first, maybe. Hmm. It does have four move. One, two, three, four, but I can't move through you. But I can if you're dead. But I can't because you won't be dead. And yeah, we have to move the artillery from this spot before we fire. I'm just trying to figure out how to deal with the Alpha Beetle. Hmm. So currently we're taking two crit damage, huh? Set turn, I only get one. Problem is that I can't remember if there was a VEC on this tile or not, uh, on uh, on E4 here. If there was a VEC here on the start of the turn, then I made the correct choice. If there wasn't, I may need to reconsider my move. There was. Okay, then I, I can't push this beetle onto that tile and kill it anyway. reasonable options. Actually, what's the attack order? This looks better, right? Because then we, we get this killed. I don't think there was any way to get both here. Yeah, firing the terraform in a different direction this turn was an option. But then I'd have to deal with being, like, entangled and such. Hmm. I'm just going to take my beats, I think. Called unfair difficulty. I'm going to fight it on my own merits, not taking forever with chat suggestions. Sounds unfun. Can't fire one in smoke. Right, desert turns into smoke when damaged. Forgotten about that particular detail. Just want to block this tile.
Keeps the ball. Bonk. Could eradicate those right now, and then it would charge into a mountain. Um, otherwise, I'm firing in this direction. Might as well just fire here, huh? fire in each of these two directions one time now. Get that thing off the field. Lock a spawn. Gonna bonk into that? That's fine. I'll be in position for the terraformer to kill. Oh, wait. Hmm. It's to move again, that's right. Alright, looks like we'll be firing in the final direction next turn. Could reposition both of these to allow them to be killed. Guess we can just punch to death, huh? Fire in this direction. So move here. Knock you out of the way. Move here. No, not like that. Push you here. Terraform these six tiles. Punch you. Ooh, the Explodivac. A Blast Poseidon. Always a fun, complicating factor. Blast Scion says, Other Vec that die will explode. Which can be a slight conundrum. No, you can't do that until the terraforming occurs. But this is a fine move, right? We could still shoot here, yes. Beautiful. Doesn't look like we can score a kill here, so I'll just end the turn there. Okay, shame, shame that we lost those two buildings early, but otherwise that went pretty well. We got all the objectives and that bonus core, which is very important, as well as the promotion we were looking for, which was, guess what? Three grid defense. All right, well, rip. <laughs> Had to know. Vec egg sacks. Gross. Probably want to get some more power here. Destroy the two Vec egg sacks. Flying Vec are emerging from underground hives beneath the island through erosion points. There's going to be a lot of Flying Vec on this map, too. This looks terrifying. I think we would have a very hard time with this. Or defend the train. Also a tough one. You have to escort a train across the map for four turns. If the train takes damage or is blocked, uh, it is destroyed. Hmm. Yeah, well, let's see what we can do here. I probably should have spent my reactor core first, though. That's a lot of alpha stuff. All right, let's see if we can get the the beetles to charge at the Vec eggs by putting our units in front of them. Here, you've got three movement. One, two, three. We could get entangled here, although that wouldn't be a bad thing, because if, if the Alpha Scorpion tries to entangle us, we can push it into the chasm.
This is also a good place to be because we can just move out of the way. Something like that. Interesting. Yeah, that's what I wanted. So just have to move out of the way. If we punch the hornet, that'll destroy the other egg sac. Problem is, this alpha scarab is going to be difficult to interrupt here. Could do so from here, push it there. Yeah, that does solve almost all the problems. This then has to be dealt with too. No way to hit that tile, right? Not with artillery. The eggs hatch? Not if I destroy them on turn one, they won't. Not on my watch. So, Brute shoots this, Mech punches this, Artillery shoves you. That's gonna be, I think, the best I can manage here. Oh, that'll even do more damage to the scorpion, too. Perfect. So now eggs get destroyed by the Vec. Hopefully our positioning next turn is going to be okay, though. Something I'm, I don't do, I think, well enough in any of the breaches is considering how the enemies are going to move on their following turn. Like, with what tactical position they're going to try to take. That's fine. That could be fine. That's not fine at all. That's fine. So, this would get a kill. That's pretty important. It also just reposition this, and then it'll charge into the oblivion here. So if we were to do this shot, for example, that would cause the charger to also die. Problem is, this is a problem. Brute needs to free itself. And there's two problems here. Can't solve them both. Again, don't see how I prevent all the grid damage. Dabwang says, is this a roguelite? Yes. Yes. Let's see, what if I... to be a way to use the Vec to solve each other here. Oh, that's right, we have the... Oh, yeah. That's right, thanks to our building immunity upgrade. We can free the Brute and reposition this artillery unit's attack, which will then hit the Hornet here. Although that does resolve, does require that we stay here and get hit by the Hornet. We have HP regeneration anyway. And then I can deal with both of these threats using the other two. That's right. Yes, that's perfect. Perfect. Uh, like this.
Plus one mech reactor. That's a good upgrade, too. Oh, and actually, we don't even take that one damage anyway. Woo! Spicy. Whoa! I'm glad they didn't take a turn immediately, but yikes, that's a lot of... That's a lot of bugs. This one beetle has just been pacifist, though. What gives? Random beetle. What gives? I just punch you to two into each other. So, two damage will kill that. This just has to be repositioned again. Probably just with the artillery shot. Just shove it into the corner. Kill this thing with one of our mechs. Damage the Alpha Hornets so I can deal with them next turn. That ought to be sufficient. bad. Okay, we have a two-for-one solve here. If we reposition the Alpha Scarab to hit the Hornet, that'll solve one problem. Hmm, how do we deal with this beetle, though? Hmm. Artillery on that Alpha Hornet would solve which is several things. Beetle goes first, actually, so Beetle could reposition the Alpha Scarab for us. So we do this. Or can I push the Beetle twice? I just kill the beetle, huh? I just kill the beetle. If I kill the beetle, I'm not repositioning this, huh? Oh, I see the problem here. What about this move? That still causes this to hit a tile, likewise here, so that doesn't seem in and of itself very helpful. Two with the brute. Yes. Yeah, we can we can shoot like that, for example. Can't shoot from the water, unfortunately. Not that we would want to. Be a way to take one grid damage. B2 with the brew. That's an interesting one. So fire the artillery, put the brute here, push the beetle here, or while well, yeah, the scarab there. The question is then how do we deal with this thing? Is 
guess that'll just do one damage. That's another way to get one damage. Yeah, it looks like another way to get one damage. Can I knock myself into a chasm? Is that an option? Yeah, I think that'll work. <laughs> That's funny. It's not necessarily something I want to do. Protecting those two tiles. I just feel like that has to be the move. Shoots you there. Nothing I can do about this beetle, though, huh? Yeah, I think we just take one grid damage to get two back, indeed. Seems like the reasonable choice here. We're one damage short of a kill here, alas. If this worked, it'd be really sweet. Punch it into the building doesn't seem to help. Destroying either of these doesn't seem to help. Whatever. Easy! 5% resist! Never had a problem in my life. GG. That's why you take the grid defense, I, I guess. Never punished even once. More move, please. Three upgrades for plus two damage on the Titan Fist. That's a big ask. Could go one more and take the dash. Let's see, there. Uh, what are the achievements for this uh, squad? Let me five or more tiles away or drown three enemies in water. Really? We didn't drown three enemies in water during one of those early ones? Interesting. And what we're going to do next is defend the solar farms, try to kill seven enemies, huh? Hmm. Can't get the damage upgrade in time. Speedy G606, thanks for four months of the Prime sub. Glad you're doing your part. Yeah, that's the other option is to put Kai Miller in the in the combat mech, although then we lose the skilled and reactor bonus. So I don't think I want to do that. I think I might just get the dash upgrade. Let's do it. Let's do it. Scrapyard is just uh, just one one sad star. Doesn't seem very good. Oh boy, and a blast Poseidon to start. That's extra yikes. No scorpions though. All right, where would we like the beetles to try to charge? We don't want them to. This building arrangement is bad. <laughs> we don't want the building, the beetles to try to charge me. That would be unwanted.
And we have a pod on this mission, so a lot of stuff happening. I think it's going to be very difficult to perfect this, but we'll see. Don't forget, any Vec that die will explode. It's pretty horrifying. We might be in body blocking things as good territory, although it's hard to body block artillery shots or hornet attacks. Hmm. Looks right disastrous at first glance. Oh boy. Yeah, we really chuffed it. Ah, oh, dang it. We do have a heal to bring back dead max. That's true, actually, which might make the difference here. I think we are going to be face tanking something. This move. Well, this doesn't even move you, right? Because you're in the way. Hmm. So many difficult considerations here. Very difficult to reposition anything meaningfully. This is such a yikes. What a vexing situation. Oof. And yet. You are not wrong. Charge punch, too. Hmm. Why are there so many giant bugs in the desert? Attracted by the heat convection. I'll see myself out. E four five. Five bugs that are threatening things. Very difficult to deal with more than one at a time. Some of them even require two actions to properly stop here. Hmm. This has to be stopped. That's three damage, too. Ooh. Actually, what if I do like this? Punch you. Do one damage. Shoot you. Do one damage. Explodes. Three damage as well. God. No explosion. I want the explosion, though. I want the explosion to damage the Alpha Scarab. I want the explosion to kill the Scion. Very much want it to explode. I still understand how to not take at least three grid damage on this turn. So we can push that out of the way, but then this Hornet's a problem. There's only one way to push the Hornet out of the way without resulting in massive self damage. What a huge mess this is. I 
Horde of Enemies is about as bad as it could be. No possible way to turn them against each other. Yeah, we don't want to put the artillery here. I don't think I should have taken this healing thing. Hmm. Artillery, the solar panel. Still gets it killed by the Hornet, because the Hornet's a two-tile range attack. All right, I'll just do the thing that I think is half decent. Something like this. That shot's gonna land, that shot's gonna land. That shot's also gonna land. Hmm. Oh, wait, I see. Saying do something like this. The beetle hits it. No, the beetle doesn't hit it. It attacks before the beetle does. Like I said, the attack order is about as bad as possible here. Pushing the hornet here gets the solar panel killed before the beetle charge occurs. Unacceptable. the Hornet down. Do we need to save both panels? Yes. Yes, we do. I see. Like this. We keep them back here. Can we punch the hornet? The hornet goes here. Still leaves me with a myriad of other problems. Proposition is something like this. That doesn't seem very good. That's not going to stop any of the other important stuff this turn, right? Like, we still have this happening, we still have this happening, we still have this happening. Hold on. It pushed, punched. Explosion shouldn't kill the time pod, but it will damage my mech. That's a sand tile. Oh wait, all we have to do is damage the sand tile. Oh, I've been way... Oh, I've been missing here. Okay. We had a much easier solve on the Hornet than I realized. It's actually quite difficult to see that that's a desert tile, but all we have to do is artillery the tile the uh, Hornet is on. Or shoot the Hornet directly. By artillery, we also solve this, so hold on. 
Um, but then I can't solve that, huh? Extraterrestrian, thanks for four months of support. I'll do it like this. It only solves one problem instead of two. Reposition you. Can I do it like push you here? Push you that way. That's going to be pretty hard to do without artillery, though. Can't obviously do both of those. Bumping the Hornet won't be enough. So I think we allow this charge to occur. Alright, I'm done thinking about things. Let's kill this stupid beetle. nasty losses here, but we set ourselves up for, well for next turn at least. And took some of the uh, hittable targets off the board, too. Okay, this looks a lot better. That's an easy block. We push this guy down, he'll block a tile. This we just kill. We're both attacking this tile, huh? That is a bit of an issue. Four threats this time. Actually, no. Not four threats. This doesn't need to be dealt with. Okay. That's easy enough, then. Shoot. Punch. Where's the dash punch requirement? Five or more tiles. Got it. Let's maybe do that next turn. I need to shoot this tile, which means being here. So we could get the achievement here. Fun fact, you can use the... Actually, let's just do that right now, in fact. Achievement get. And we're allowed to use the reset turn button to undo the turn, reset the turn conditions, but we keep the achievement when we do that. Feels a little cheaty, but it's good stuff. Super powerful can accomplish. We just have to take this one hit. Actually. 
so I can look at this with a fresh perspective. Hmm. Can't artillery the beetle like I would like to. easily enough. Yeah, and just take one grid damage, that'll have to do. Uh, we could even block the spawn this way, which is a bit better. This is quite, quite difficult and a lot of up and down with the uh, the grid defense, which is rather intriguing. Bonk. So you can move up, deal with that. Objectives completed. We should go back up to full grid defense here, too. Oh, not quite, actually. Full is seven. Interesting. Networked armor. Cost one power. All mechs gain one hit point. Interesting. Uh, I think we'll use that last point of uh, reactor core to get plus two damage on the mech fist. Could go plus two on the artillery, but I think the mech fist having better damage is the the more important one. That'll help us deal with the boss vac. Okay, kill six or fewer enemies. Interesting. Defend the train, or do not kill the volatile Vec. Wouldn't mind a little bit more uh, grid defense stuff. Going for all island counts on unfair? No. No. Just all one win with each squad on unfair. I don't personally find much interest in the 2-3-4 island thing. Four island runs are way too long. No, thank you. Okay, so the Volatile Vec is a scorpion. Lots of scorpions here. Well, the scorpions actually won't be able to do much, right? This tile is vulnerable, this tile is vulnerable, this tile is vulnerable. But that's it, actually. So I think we can use that to our advantage here. Well, hold on. Yeah, because the unit here can only attack 1, 2, 3. So, yes. Yeah, this should be safe-ish. The positioning of these mountains is extremely useful defensively. Almost none of these units are going to be able to attack anything at all. Right. <laughs> As you can see, they seem a little confused over where they should be moving to. And we're going to continue to use that to our advantage here on this mission. This one's a bit of an obstacle. We'll just tank that charge to the face. Different thing we could do. 
We have to push the... Oh yeah, we could push the Alpha Vec. No, 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 we don't want to do that. This is the Volatile Vec. We could push it in front of the Beetle and get it killed by the charge. But one of our mission objectives is specifically don't get this one killed. So we must keep it alive here. Or else... Oh, that's right. We can actually, yes, indeed, just kill because our fist does way more damage now. Let's just do that. Um, oh yeah, this is going to take one damage to me no matter what, huh? Uh, I did that wrong. We want Bob to block? I'm just gonna, not gonna block. He's just a bit more exposed next turn. That's a problem. Or is it? Actually gonna go with it. That's not a problem. Let's bonk you into the water. Artillery here. Pushes you there. Cause collision damage, which is fine. Cause collision damage, which is less fine. We can also shoot here before we do that. Let's do that. Nothing I can do about. Actually, wait. Yes, there is. You can shoot here, right? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Problem is. Hmm. Stinky Alpha Hornet. Also gonna deal damage if I don't kill with the brute first. Brute has to kill. You can go one. You have what? Four move? One, two, three, four. No. Shooting here is another option. Yeah, that would push the Alpha Scorpion, the Beetle, and the Volatile Vec. This. Obviously, we move the Brute first. Problem is, this attack will happen. Guess I'm okay with that. We'd have to move Combat Mech out of the way first. Doesn't seem very appealing. The scorpion has three health. Almost impossible to kill them without also pushing them into the building. Like we could punch them, but then the building still takes one damage because we push them. So that kind of sucks. I think what I do is this. 
Uh, you go here first. Here. Shoot this. Do this. I don't even need to deal with that this turn now. So I could actually block the last spawn. Or we can deal with this stinky scorpion. Alright, I got rid of charge. I actually can't deal with the scorpion. Okay, let's just kill the beetle then. Take one. They're hornets. Rude. Helpful. Rude. Rude. Ah. Hmm. What about this? It solves a lot of problems all at once, looks like. You get pushed, you get pushed. You take damage. So that I can kill it again with another push. Yeah, this is easy. Okay. Fire here. Punch here. Kill here. Not too bad. Not too bad. Back up to ostensibly full grid power. And now it's time for Corporate HQ. We're up against the Goo Monster. We have to protect the corporate cower corporate tower and destroy five goose five goos what is Kai's ability? Kai's ability is plus one damage as long as she is at full HP so this big goo splits into two smaller goos when killed a large goo turns into medium goo the medium goo. Splits into small goo. It's the slime boss. That is correct. Two, three. Don't really want to get scorped. What's your mo movement? Alpha beetle only has two, so it's going to go here or here in charge, probably. Or charge at the building. Charge at one of these two. So we'll put the artillery mech in the back here. Something like this. I don't want to get entangled this turn. Hoping we'd see something like that. The big slime just crushes the tile in front of it. Moving onto that tile and destroying anything. So all we have to do is reposition the large goo onto this sand tile. And we will... We will see the benefits. Also nice doubling up there. Okay, pretty easy turn, looks like. Some of these alpha vec off the field here. I don't want to split the goos just yet. But I would like to reduce the number of foes on the field. Yeah, we, we want to split next turn, for sure. If I did, wasn't relying on it to kill this beetle, I would do so uh, this turn. So the beetle gets crushed. Kill you. Just kill you. No entanglement next turn, please. Uh, 
Oh, wait. What? I thought the goose damage was instant kill, not four. Huh. Noted. Well, I completely screwed that up. Beyond my ability to reset the turn, too. It's really unfortunate. Crud. I, I truly thought the Large Goose attack was instant death. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, at least easy enough to shove this thing into water. Not that I need to this turn. What I need to do this turn is kill the goo. Stop some of this nonsense from occurring. Oh, man, I really screwed that turn up. That's half decent. It just kills that. Ah. Uh. Actually, what's the attack order? Three, four? Hmm. Doesn't do what I want it to do. Nobody can get to that tile. Flick, thanks for 29 months of support. Almost to three full years. Hey, last day to vote for the July Community Game Vote. Check out that link there in chat. Highest voted game on that poll gets played later this month. All right, fine, whatever. Just destroy it all. Well, that seems like a very helpful pattern of attacks from the enemies. Uh, yeah, that's excessively useful, in fact. Cool. The beetle charges the goo into the other goo. Then the alpha hornet attacks the beetle. Can't ask for much better than that. a way to do one damage to this goo. I guess I could just punch it. Huh. 
Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Now, the problem is entirely solving itself. Okay, I got a little frustrated earlier in the fight. Seems to have worked out really well. Yeah, we're also getting pretty lucky with the turns here. I'm all for it. I guess we just want to look to maximize our experience points this turn. Punch that and kill it. And kill both of those. Solved. Okay. That's another perfect island. I'm actually quite impressed we managed to get two such uh two such perfect rewards. Goose destroyed. You completed every mission on RST despite the odds. Prospero. Gains flying to a Mac for one power. Repair field. One unit repaired being... One unit being repaired repairs everybody. This could be interesting. Or we can get our grid restored by four, which might be what I take again. Technician. Uh, do we know what Technician does? I guess that's the main question. That also revives? Yes! The preview clearly indicates that it'll revive a downed unit, too. But I've already got a once per battle full repair everybody, so I don't think I need the repair field repair field passive. Unless we're doing weird stuff with like freezing. Alright, let's take the pilot actually. Let's see what that even means. Technician. Oh, that's the repair one HP at the start of each turn. Cool. Getting flying to a. Uh... The combat mech, especially, would be quite nice. All right, Anisbana, you're going to get sold. Plus one reputation. What are these pieces of equipment? Shield placer. Shield target and push the adjacent tiles away. Limited range. Blood drill. Convert any liquid tile into a hole, spreading the liquid to adjacent tiles. That looks awesome. And the void shocker. Passive. If a Vec deals no damage to buildings or units when attacking, it takes one feedback damage. That's cool. I want the I want the flood drill, partially because we have an achievement for uh, for drowning enough Vec. I'm gonna buy probably two reactor power cores as well. I need to spend some points on restoring grid power too. Uh, I don't need networked armor though, so let's sell that. Let's buy grid power, reactor core, reactor core. And I could probably sell a pilot for more power.
Oh, you're almost max level. Hold on. Maybe I didn't even want Prospero. Do I want that on the artillery? No. Let's swap repair drop onto the artillery unit. Actually, no. Let's put it on the mech. better than Zizzy, just objectively so, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's upgrade Zizzy then. And we still have a reactor core to spend. One more movement on the max seems viable. Uh, powering flying is not actually that helpful yet. Get more mobility here. Okay. We'll be heading to Pinnacle Robotics as our third island. I think I'll make this a three island run. I don't think we're quite ready after two here. Root, thank you so much for 19 months. Happy Tuesday to you. Hope you can respect both forms of life on this island, organic and mechanical. Hmm, interesting. There's a reactor core over there, but I may not necessarily want to do that. All right, before we tackle the third island of this run, I am going to take a quick break. First break of the day, refill my legs, stretch my water. When I return, we'll do another island here and finish out this run. Be right back, folks. Don't go nowhere.
Alrighty, folks, we are back. Thank you so much for the patience. Gotta say, I'm really enjoying Into the Breach Advanced Edition so far. A lot more of a challenge with the unfair difficulty than uh, than it was prior. Destroy all boom bots. This looks tough. There's a bunch of robots that will explode when it's hacked that are going to be problematic here. I could see that being a bit of an obstacle. What about the cryo labs? There'll be ice storms that can flash freeze things. That's probably for the best. That sounds pretty doable. But I have to go for secondary cooling if I want a hope of getting this reactor core. It's a pretty juicy reward over there. Okay, let's do secondary cooling. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we have to destroy all four boom bots. These things have one health and explode on death. Hopefully they're not going to go adjacent to the buildings. Actually, see, we could create a choke point here. Enemy vec can't move through tiles containing my units. Although I can't, I can't just deploy there. We have to go here and here, huh? Okay, well, that's going to be a bit of a different story, then. With the artillery mech in the back, so it has more flexibility. Hmm. Maybe shouldn't have gone here. Perfect. All right, I think that's a pretty good turn, all things considered. Although, two threats on this building in the back is a bit of an obstacle. I can easily, like, chain react the boom bots here. How's it going, Turn Silver? Hello and welcome. There's still going to be plenty of Spire on the channel, do not fear. Including some tomorrow, I'm sure. Best of luck getting to Ascension 20 on Silent. Sounds like quite the, uh, quite the challenge. So I'm thinking if we could explode one of these boom bots, they should go in a sort of chain reaction. See, they're not going to knock back adjacent foes, though, huh? Hmm. Oh, what about this? Well, there's so many reasons that would be good. Ice can be turned into water, but you have to hit it two times. Oh, that's right, we have the drill. Can I use that? Not on ice, okay. Has to be done on water. Interesting. Body blocking that charge seems like a challenge. G3 is a valid uh, drillable tile, but I can't reach that tile this turn. Hmm, let's... I'm not going to be able to prevent that shot, though, if I use the artillery here, huh? Oh, I can't even hit this tile with the artillery, actually. So I'd have to do it this way. Oh! And that pushes the boombot in the way. Hmm. 
That might be the move. Genuinely. But here. <clears throat> That's also pretty reasonable, actually. And then I can use the Brute? Because that'll cause that bot to explode, the other bot will explode... All four bots will explode. Well, three bots will explode. One will, one will be freed from the ice here. If I do this. <clears throat> I just want to see a preview of this. Yeah. <clears throat> then we can punch this beetle. To be dead. And now we can shoot the Alpha Firefly out of the way. What a turn. What a great turn. <laughs> Looks like a really good turn here, too. first. So I'd have to tank the hit if I want a friendly fire there. That's a fun thought, though. Hmm. Interesting. I think we'd probably just go for some basic kills here. No need to overcomplicate it. Bop that one. Shoot the bot. See, if I reposition you now, you're going to charge into them. Hmm. Guess that has to be okay. There's maybe a slightly better way to do this turn. Oh, we got one of these acid spitters. Those are tough. Alright, well, you you two have made it way too easy to deal with each other, right? You just put them in each other's line of fire here. You just have to move out of the way. Beetle could be a problem, though. I think you might need to push here.
Hmm. Just kill like this? <clears throat> yeah, they'll both die to that. That's perfect. Oh yeah, life's easy. Just kill them all. No need to overcomplicate it. We'll even die to the fire here. Beautiful little mission there. <clears throat> what does the acid debuff do? Results in double attack damage taken. That's our promotion. Thick skin, immune to acid and fire. Seems pretty good, actually. We unlock the Glacier Cliff in the Lifeless Basin. Please welcome says, is the game set up such that you can always protect every city, or is it sometimes impossible? On uh, the lower difficulties, it's almost always something you can do. Uh, but here on Unfair Difficulty, there's definitely the case that you can't always stop everything, and damage is somewhat inevitable, it feels like. Ooh, Ice Mines. 373 cryo mines in this area, intended for pacification of hostile machines. Machines frozen threat very high. Kill seven enemies, protect the batteries. I think the ice mine mission is going to be a bit easier here. Let's do this one. Got an armor scion, shell scion. Please try to charge me. I would like that. And even that stops on the space. I think traveling over a, a nice mine is fine though, right? Don't do that. <laughs> Absolutely should not free your friends. Don't be crazy. So will the ice mine stop the charge if I move out of the way? That's my question. Seems to indicate no, but I'm not sure. Well, not. So I should probably body block. Or just even dunk into the ice, into the water here. <clears throat> that beetle. So we could do like this. For example. I want to push this onto the spawn blocker. I don't really want to get acided. I guess freeing these enemies is not the, the worst thing in the world. <laughs> I could even intentionally break the ice so that this turns into hostile fire rather than freeing. Actually, I like that quit a lot. <clears throat> Let's do that. If you're going to shoot at them, then how about I just free them? Fool. Another really good move here. <clears throat> we can get a k double kill like this. Wait. This attack can turn water into acid tiles and has created an acid waterfall. How cool is that? 
How cool is that? Mm. And that's an ice tile. <clears throat> Free it and then push it onto a new ice mine. I love that. <laughs> it's a great use of your turn. I love that. Did that back on jump 389. And that does count as drowning. Good. And we could get the, the full blocking requirement done here. I could even just kill this beetle. Easy. We have multiple more turns. I don't need to block with extreme prejudice here. Pushing one of these into water will be sufficient for the third achievement on this squad. Huzzah! Any vec that you can prevent or delay spawning until after the final turn never appear, of course. Vec has changed biomes. I should probably wanted to... <clears throat> Actually, let me reset the turn so I can give more of the XP to the artillery person. Because you're the only one who <clears throat> even needs the XP. Here. Let's destroy the freeze mine. Good to know. Cool. Time pod, get. Yeah. What do we got? Just a reactor core. There's always a, at least a reactor core in a time pod. Sometimes more. Six or fewer enemies, huh? I wouldn't say we're exactly good at that. Especially when five of them start. Hmm. That might be a problem. Could give up on the reactor core, just do lifeless base in cryogenic labs, or even cryogenic labs and maybe whatever this is. Maybe this won't be so bad, though. Uh, we definitely would want to reconfigure, though. Uh, rather than plus damage, we can, <clears throat> for now, put this re these reactor cores somewhere else. But I think we'll struggle a little bit, and there will be moments we do want to get kills. Is the other thing. Ah, heck. Let's, uh, let's try it, I, I suppose. With a use on the flood drill, where else do we want this to go?
guess we can activate flying. Although I think I'd rather get the plus move first and then flying. Let's do that. Flying on the punch mech. It's an interesting thought. What does that look like here? Four move, flying. Flying dash? Six health, five move artillery. Does sound pretty good, actually. I like arrogant boost, thick skin. Actually, it's a good combination. All right, let's try it. I don't want bonus use on the flood cannon because that's going to drown Vec, and that kills them. We'll want to kill a few. Just. Not too many here. What do we got? Beetle, Firefly... Like, we'll have to kill that Alpha Leaper, for example. Probably the Alpha Centipede? We'll see what we can do about the rest. You're flying. That five move? Let's try something like this. And another pod. Okay, interesting. The Pod Squad. So we want to avoid killing Vec too early in this encounter here. The more Vec we kill, the more we'll spawn. Looks like we've got a pretty easy maneuver here. Should wait. Uh, flying on the artillery, artillery you'll be able to uh, fire from over water isn't something I thought about. That's pretty good, actually. So either push you in the way or put you in the way. Block that charge somehow. Could just drown you. But again, the more kills we get early turns, the worse it'll be in future turns. We want to weaken them so that we can kill a bunch all at once. Uh, that'll work. Oh, that'll just kill, actually. Okay, in that case, I think I'll just body block the shot. Not quite how I wanted this to go. I wanted to push you here. Can't realistically do that without taking damage myself. Can't push this guy here either. So yeah, we'll just tank the hit. That means I don't want to push you then, huh? Wait, what? <laughs> Five? Terrifying. How do you free yourself? How do you do it? There's still only one unit spawning yet. Chargers charge in this turn. Looks like a bit of a problem for us. Zuthis, thank you so much for 
The nine in Fibonacci months, 34 months of support. Alright, this looks like it might be a situation for the Flood Drill to free from um, the Leaper here. Acid Seal Die. You're just going to charge to nothing, so it's only this one that needs to be stopped, really. Could use the full repair to tank another hit. <laughs> Flying Puncher could also free. Uh, unfortunately, that requires me to stop indirect attack of the Centipede, so we have a new problem if I do that. Uh, and the way the centipede's attack works... Actually, no. If we push the centipede that way, that wouldn't be a problem. So you go here. If we shoot a shot here, you get pushed and hit the building with a shield. This is happening first anyway. Yeah, actually, I like that a lot. We shoot on... Yeah, F3. This gets pushed onto the block. Um, you'll actually just get pushed into the water and die. Never mind, you won't charge the building. You'll just die instantly. I like that. So we kill a couple of enemies this turn. Just a couple. You can just shoot from here, huh? Uh, and we can even do this now, right? You just die instantly. Got it. Guess there's no reason not to. Well, keeping it alive means probably less spawns next turn to deal with. But we have one less shield on the building then. I think I'd rather just have another enemy. I could also push the charger into the acid pool. It'll kill the firefly. Doesn't prevent us from losing the um, force field, though. I'm just going to go here and kill it. We have three more kills that we can get over two turns. So, any spawns that we can block this turn is a big deal for us. So let's prioritize doing that. Looks like we can really, really do that, too. Yeah. It's like this. Really not that bad, actually. Thought this would be worse. This turn looking a little awkward. Oh, that's shielded. Never mind. Not at all. Not awkward at all. Excuse me. That'll hit something, though. But not if you did. We 
get a double kill here. I just want more XP on... Oh. Oh, it's Zizzy. That's right. I swapped who was in what. There we go. 10 XP on the pilot who needs it. Okay, just one meager rep, but we got another time pod with just another reactor core. Underwhelming. Or is it warning a shield generator? While the shield generator functions, all units will receive a shield when they arrive. Bonus objective, destroy the shield generator. All deploy shields will go offline as the grid readjusts. Okay, so when the shield generator is destroyed, all of the shields will drop at the same time. We might actually be able to use that in our advantage. Uh, and this is definitely a mission where the drill is going to get put to good use. Look at all that water. Cool. So let's install a reactor core and make it plus one use on the flood drill. And let's also restore our pilots to their rightful places here. Does the flood deal destroy buildings? No. Do we get a shield? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Certainly the Vec do. So nothing with Entangle here. See you later, Gekdoppy. Appreciate you dropping by. Yes, all the buildings have shields, and I think so shall we. Also receive shields. Let's try something like this. Shield generator has but a single health. Less than three grid damage. There's really not a lot of buildings for them to a target. Okay, that's an easy shove into water, if I want to. Push here so that, what's the attack order? Five, then seven. Noted. Something like this, actually. Get a kill and remove shields. Those two are irrelevant. Let's do that. Conservative. Limited use weapons are given one more use. Ooh, cool. That's a cool pilot skill. So we could have a triple use flood drill if we wanted. I like it. I like it a lot. Could do max bonk that way, kill you, light the forest on fire. 
Oh, that's a straight shot. Understood. In that case, we probably want to knock you this way so that you shoot your friend. Oh, I like this, actually, yeah. Five, then six. You do a bunch. I think what I'm going to do is deal with the Vec this turn, rely on the shields, next turn destroy the shield generator. rather interesting. This is an easy kill and block and break shield. That's probably what I'm going to do there. Get out of the way of these. You could also do, do this to reposition a whole bunch of things. Actually, I like that quite a bit, too. Oh, that would cause this beetle to shoot the shield generator, which will turn off the shields mid-turn. Oh, I like that one a lot, too. Anubis120, thanks for nine months of support. that. So now you fire. So we can punch you onto the blocker and you'll kill. Let's spread some water. All the shields will go down when this occurs. I guess I could do some damage to this Alpha Scarab. Break my own shield, no reason not to. Let's do that. My energy cocoon! Let's bring water remove the spawn entirely. If the water turned into if the tile turned into water tile, yes. The spawn tile becomes water. Unfortunately, I can't uh, can't use the drill on cracked ice. It has to be full water. Okay, that's an easy double kill. Single kill there. Let me just push you away. Should also let me break this water tile. The tech order four, then five. Yeah, whatever. This looks good.
Hmm. Ah, it's easy, easy as one, two, three. Perfect victory. All right, we seem to be uh, reaching our our stride here on the third island, which is pretty exciting. Destroy the Scion Abomination. Interesting. Excess of more damage sounds good. Let's take the flood drill. So we can have eventually have a three use flood drill here, which is pretty pretty hype. Still need more reactor cores for Zizzy. All right. So the Scion Abomination, five health. What does it do? Overpowered. This boss is literally overpowered. All other vec gain one health regeneration and will explode if killed. This looks like a familiar map. So I'd like to be able to punch the Abomination turn ones. Start, starting on the ice is a pretty good way to achieve that, I suppose. Have the artillery move a little bit further back. We can punch the Scion into a uh, enemy or building, or is enemy or mountain. We can kill it easy. Okay. Pushing that one seems good. You're shooting there. Alpha, 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 alpha. Hmm. Okay. So die when the Scion dies. Looking at something like this, though. Push you onto the spawn. Make sure this happens. This happens. That'll help break the ice. Which is good. But then we have this, this to deal with. Like moving here, tanking and punching seems good. What does the brute do? Brute gets out of the way. Brute could shoot the alpha firefly. Nowhere to drill it yet until we break the ice. Oh yeah, we could also yeah, I agree. We can we can artillery this building. This pushes you to be friendly fired. Pushes this thing away. Solves quite a few problems at the same time. I like that actually. How do I deal with this then, though? Hmm. I'll kill it directly. Just like shoot it with both so that it is no longer a problem. rather like that. Nice. That'll make it easy to kill.
Hmm. That's a little complicated. Not too bad, though. Explosions to my favor here, I think. Oh, but you get pushed. Not if I... If I do it differently. So now we have a water tile, actually, so I could, I could even drown it by expanding upon the water here. done that maybe a slightly better order, but I really like what we ended up with as a turn there. Shade Rider Gold, thanks for three months of support. Keep on keeping on, Fred. Alright, so you're telling me any squares that I block this turn, I don't have to deal with? I like it. Three perfect islands. Mass confusion. Has a size and a use upgrade. Cause nearby enemies to flip their attack direction. Isaac Jones, one extra reset turn every mission. That could be fun. And one of the new skills opener. Or seven grid defense. Interesting. I think I'll take this mass confusion. Yeah, lots of lots of new weapons. I'm not sure exactly how many. Uh, but I see a lot of potential use here. See, we got some other new stuff. Viscera nanobots. This is from the hazardous mechs, I think. Deal damage when they kill, do a killing. Bl heal when you kill. Explosive warp. Teleport to a target and push nearby tiles away. Interesting. Science weapon. Shield tank. Dis deploy a shield tank. Ooh, this could also be another per battle. Two shield tanks per battle. Interesting. EM Railgun. Pierce through killed enemies. Can easily make it four damage and building immune. Wow. Interesting. All right, let's start with two power cores. Might even go three. Class 
So would I go, like, Railgun? Railgun, Flood Drill, Flying Brute? That sounds pretty good, actually. Or do I go extra uses on the Mass Confusion? Like, what about Flood Drill, Mass Confusion, Flying Artillery? That would lose our basic Artemis Artillery. We'd have to rely on our limited use stuff. Drop the heal, yeah. Could also make that multiple use. That's funny. Shame we never actually ended up using the medical passives. I was hoping we'd find something that goes with it, like the uh, self destruct. I'm trying to think how good the Flood Drill is going to be in the final battle. Might actually be pretty dang strong. The melee range thing. Well, the two tile range thing, actually. Okay, so maybe it's Flood Drill Artillery. Here. Unequip the Taurus Cannon. Does this cost? Two for the EM Railgun. power flying to and these can both be sold If I also survive the heal, uh, sell the heal, I can get one more reactor core. I should wait. I also don't need the. Oh wait, shoot! Made a mistake. Heck. Ah, I made a mistake. Sold the wrong gun. Oh, yeah, there's undo all? Okay, yeah, that works, right. Right, good. So this. This. There we go. Use mass confusion? I do. Currently don't have building immunity. It's not going to have a lot of health. It's okay. We can now head to the final island, but we're going to go straight to the Volcanic Hive and perform the final mission of this run. Once you've prepared yourself with an adequate number of islands, you may attempt the last stand. You versus many, many nasty Vac, including Leader Vac. 
Oh man, these are immune to water on the final mission. I don't remember these showing up before, or maybe there was only one of them on this mission, but two liters is scary stuff. You got three move, just like always. Okay. So there's going to be a variety of nasty terrain hazards on this one. Those blobbers looking particularly scary. Yeah, Leader Vec have always been immune to water. I just don't, don't remember there being multiple water immune enemies on this mission. Do I know if uses reset after the floor breaks? Yes, the, the first and second portion of this final mission are, are two separate battles. Seems like a pretty good time for the mass confusion. Can flip every vec here. So the Hornet will attack this thing, this thing will attack off the map, this thing will attack off the map, this thing will attack off the map. No effect here, no effect here. That's pretty decent. Right, you're getting whipped, but that's not a problem. We just punch you to death. That's fine. Lava doesn't kill our mechs, but uh, does kill non-leader Vec and lights anything else on fire. Alright, lots of stuff happening here. Not harmless. You're dead already, okay. So this is a problem. You attack for two? Two? What do you mean two? I'm gonna do more damage than two. Come on. Pathetic. Could use another mass confusion here. I don't feel like it adv it's uh, of much advantage to do so here. Yeah, we can we can shoot through the uh, crabs with a railgun. That's true. Good blappins there. And we can just kill you. stop Scorpion here from being a problem. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, I see my, my move now. Oh, wait. So I want to shoot either here or here? Oh, this is fine. We can just shoot here, right? Note that even boss class mech can't attack from water, just like our mechs can't attack while in water. Blah. Can we expand lava with the drill? Yes. I think, anyway.
pretty sure we can do that. It's a good one for mass confusion. Yes. Am I allowed to not have to be orthogonally adjacent for this? Or not adjacent, but, you know, aligned? Because if so, that's way different than I thought. Drill goes anywhere, they say. It's pretty spicy, man. Not parse that. Hmm. But how to free my mech here? Simply punching will not be sufficient, right? Just these four tiles. Elgun does four without pushing, yeah, and then we can like KO the Scorpion leader, but then the problem is I can't stop both of these with just the artillery if I use two actions killing the leader. As you may be forgetting that there's a scarab here. And another mission after this. Just high roll on the grid defense. It's easy. Easy peasy. That doesn't work the way I want it to. Actually, wait, does this... Aha! I thought it might. called me fools. Have some fire. So, even though this unit attacks in all four directions, flipping its direction caused the entanglement to break. Which is pretty cool. Uh, actually, wait. Fire damage technician environment. That'll block its attack, no matter what. Yeah, okay, that should be fine. Yeah, so alive but on fire. And in a unable to attack. Please stop doing that. Oh dear. I have a third mass confusion, right? Please tell me I have a third mass confusion. This is so spooky. Very trapped. Oh boy. That feels kind of reasonable. That frees our punching mech. This damage scion is going to hurt everybody at the end of the turn. You're attacking that. Wow, what a tough turn. Actually, wait. If I hit this tile, I have to 
do it from here, though. Oh, that won't work. Ah, uh, here. From here I can do it. It's not the tile I want, is it? I want this tile, the bug on it. Yes, there's no valid firing location for that tile. I understand. It's truly a bad time, then. Shoot. What about here? Freeze the tank. Deal some damage. I think we really need to free the combat mech, huh? Actually, no, 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 no. We can use a we can use a mass confusion, I think. So I really want to land a shot on this tile. It's not gonna work. Seeing the fundamental problem. This is where flying artillery would have been really nice. Just saying. here? Push away or push the words? It's two damage to the targeted tile. Because you're at full health. Got it. Light green squares. I think it's just grass. I don't think there's anything actually being indicated there. Grass. So Blubber's dead. Even if we flip everybody, that combat mech can't move. Flip breaks root, sure, but I can't move after flipping. It'll uh, break the root on him, but I, and you can't move if all four of the tiles next to you are occupied either, right? So, still can't move. We'd have to destroy one of the units in the four adjacent tiles. But the only person who can free the tank is the artillery. Oh, that still doesn't affect that, huh? Hmm. shoot through our own guy. So if punching you doesn't kill you, then what the heck am I doing here? How's it going, Melee Sad Posts? Hello and welcome. Thanks for that tier one sub. So glad to hear the Spire content's been keeping you busy having a good time. Oof. Yeah, this is a, a giant mess. I, I really don't know how to even get all of our mechs out of this intact, let alone keeping buildings alive or whatever. Can't even prevent them from dying. Shoot. 
So we get to push that there, punch. Tank just as a flippo. What does this look like? Oh yeah. Oh, but this, mm, this thing. The end of every turn. The start of each turn. Okay, yeah, that'll result in Zizzy dying. Solves that, huh? Last turn and everyone lives. No shade of Icarus. I'd encourage you to look at that again because your line does not have Ongo surviving. Why I don't like taking suggestions from chat much, actually. Having to figure out what's wrong with the line that was suggested to me is always a fun challenge. Um, problem is, Ongo will take one damage from being on fire, one damage from the Scion Tyrant, and even if we punch this Firefly, it will still shoot this mech and kill it. Because it doesn't die to a punch, it just moves one tile away. It doesn't take damage from anything else I'm doing on the turn. And we don't change its facing with a confusion here. It's three tiles away, so it's not affected by the mass confusion. Now, if I repair instead of punching... Oh, yes, that's the way. Repair instead of punching will work, though. Yes. Because we'll have four health. We shouldn't. Actually, if you're standing on a... No, even if I repair, because we take the damage from the push here. Yeah, even with a repair, that gets me killed. Confuse on D3. Anybody who ends their turn on D3 will die. Again, so that is, again, guaranteed getting somebody killed. Uh, unless... Wait, 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 wait. What if... What if I confuse on D3 and then... No, I can't do that. Yeah, no, that, that, that won't work either. Jeez. Okay, well, if that's the case, then I'll lose a pilot and keep the grid defense. So how do we make that happen? I think we just let uh, Ungo die. What's the strat then? Artillery here, push this out of danger zone. Can the brute kill both of those somehow? N no. Take one grid damage. Lose a pilot. If I if I lose a pilot, we'll we'll still we'll just be down a mech. Almost like keeping that passive might have actually been useful, huh? Where the mech, where the pilots survive? That's so funny. That's so funny. Pushing on D2 first. Ah, but there's the thing. Explain to me what tile I stand on. So I guess we could do it here, right? To push on D2? Hmm. Actually, that one's interesting, because that frees our punch mech and actually allows a movement. 
Hmm. Actually, that kind of looks decent. Scorpion gets killed. Mech can move out of the way. Interesting. I can't really do anything that helpful, though, is the problem. Actually, wait. Oh, and then this will kill the blob. Okay, no, it's starting to come together, actually. This does how much? Four. And you're on fire. You're not immune to fire, right? No, you're not. Okay, so I can take, what, two crit damage? All right, okay, that's the line. Also mass confuse here. Although that results in the pilot death, yeah? to die. Okay, yeah, just two, I think. Here we go. Great suggestions. Oh, and that is the timing. Okay. So te technicians right after scion damage. That's actually really important to know. All right, five, five grid defend, uh, five grid HP for the second battle actually seems pretty reasonable here. Double beater, beetle leader looks pretty tough. All right. Really well written backseat command. Deploying a Renfield bomb. All we have to do is keep the Renfield bomb alive for a handful of turns here. Surely that'll be easy. We're going to expand the water here. Sink these two. That's useless. So there are six Vec that are a problem, huh? Really can't do something about all of them. I guess this one is not even technically a problem currently. I do like the idea of expanding the lava to start. Oh, mass confusion. Okay, hold on. Confusion causes you to charge into the water. Rock will fall. We can confuse here. Uh, I don't want to confuse here because then I'm getting charged by the alpha beetle. Confuse here? This is not even a problem. Let's solve these two. Yeah, that looks good, actually. Confuse here. Cancel these three attacks. Expand the lava here, killing this and canceling this attack. Punch this guy, almost killing it, and causing him to charge into lava. Block the spawn, please. That's a great turn. Oh, 
Oh, wait, what? Not what I expected. The water turns back into a, uh, a ground tile, but with the uh, beetle leader seeds, so that mostly worked out. Only one grid damage taken, more than I thought we were going to take, but uh, we also did a lot of damage, so I'm actually pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that indeed. We're on fire, so we can just kill you. You're almost dead. Don't want to stay on that tile. Tentacle he unit here will die, and the tile will turn into lava. That's a good reason not to stay on that tile. gun through them. Get a double kill from here. That's another option. This could be then pulled onto this tile. Punch is not going to do much there, though. use mass confusion then. That's still a problem, huh? to now. Let's repair. Oh, he would have charged over the lava anyway, actually. Do leaders just get to do that? Normal enemies will die if they go into lava like that. I was wrong about that first turn in a couple ways. Lots of stuff happening here. I thought it would at least cancel the attack. But apparently that's not how that goes. Can't push it anymore. Unfortunate. Can push it from there, though. Alright, last turn. This shouldn't be too bad. Got plenty of grid left for this moment. It's been a tough run, but I'm exceedingly glad we've gotten where we are. Exceedingly, do you hear me? Push that out of the way. Just kill you. Seems pretty straightforward to me. Oh. Don't destroy the bomb. No one would like that. Okay, just don't die. Simply don't die is good enough for me. Here, have a real gun. GG here. 
drill was definitely a little bit less useful than I expected. Got some good uses out of it, though. GG. It's our first run with the unfair difficulty. I imagine subsequent runs will feel a little bit more manageable. Uh, particularly the, the second island, the desert island. That was tough. If only this were really the end. GG. Something I did notice about unfair difficulty, more Vex spawning on every mission meant more experience for the pilots. One squad down, 13 to go. GG. GG. Thanks to Ongo, Zizzy, and Kai Miller, the Vec Hive was destroyed. 26k out of 30,000 saved. Not too bad. Not too bad. So we get to choose one pilot to keep going with. Don't think I want Kai. Zizzy's pretty good. Flying Mac Technician Conservative. But I've also been enjoying uh, Ongo. Just the skilled and plus one mech reactor gives you a lot more utility in the early game. Let's take Ongo. Let's take Ongo. All right, we got all three achievements. It's and we got ten coins because uh, we got some of the global achievements too from that one. Three pilots at max level at the same time. One pilot at max level. Three corporate islands without failing an objective. Easy. One perfect island. Perfect island without any building damage. Ten grid power. And one win. I have to... I have to separately do a run on hard because... They forgot to make... Um... Unfair count for a hard win. Oops. Maybe they'll change that. But I would I would strongly recommend that, that is a tweak for uh for subset. Cool. Anyway, let's uh let's unlock one of the new squads. In fact, we can unlock two of them. I wanna see what the bomber mechs have. Look at these guys. The Pierce Mech. AP cannon. Fire a pushing projectile that pushes the first target and damages the second. Actually, it clearly damages both of them. Uh, pushes both of them and damages only the second. Based on that preview. A bombling mech. Launch a walking bomb. Unused bombs dismantle after the enemy turn and can be upgraded to two bombs. Exchange mech. Force a nearby unit to swap places with any other unit. We're gonna love that. Especially if the facing remains the same. The bomb can move and we choose when or if it detonates. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Hold the door. Block 30 emerging vec by the end of Island 2. I guess you're meant to do that with the bombs. Have seven units on any team die in one turn. Pierce a walking bomb with the AP cannon to kill an enemy. Oh, very smart. All right. Uh, and let's see what one of the other ones do. Arachnophiles. Mist eaters. Heat sinkers. Or Cataclysm. Let's see what the Cataclysm has to offer here. The Pitcher Mech. Throw an adjacent unit and damage it. Love that. Triptych Mech. Damage and push three tiles in a line. Good old building up, building immunity upgrade. And the Drill Mech. Damage and flip target. If target is killed, crack adjacent tiles. I assume two cracked tiles equals a broken tile, and obviously this thing is flying so that it doesn't die if you create a chasm. 
I've not seen cracked tiles yet. Cracked tiles will break from any attack. Cool. So you could even do that on the same turn. I want to try these guys. Let's let's try out the Cataclysm Squad. Begin. Begin. I like doing the don't mind doing the desert first, or maybe not at all. I tend to find the ice land pretty easy. Dietrich's disposal can also be challenging. Got a new leader. Oh man, look at these new leaders. That I've never seen before. It's like some kind of stag beetle thing. I have no idea what this thing is. The shelled creatures are also new. Okay, let's try out uh, Detrius here. Where's Ongo going to go? I've already got so much move. Increase the range of the throw by two. Actually, I like the idea of putting Ongo in the... Uh, In the capacitor. Yeah, five move. Flying. He's flying, right? Just four, four. I have heard of your triumphs against the Vec Commander. We hope you and the Cataclysm can aid us in our fight as well. Defend the disposal unit. The Cataclysm to defend this acid launcher while it dissolves the Vec hives infecting the infesting the mountains. Let's do it. This acid launcher can launch a a blom every turn. So what are these? Bouncers. Damage the target and bounce backwards. And these are boosted. Why are all the enemies boosted? Because we have a raging scion. All of their back are boosted. That makes sense. Bouncers only have three move. That's not too bad, actually. It should only take three acid bombs to uh, to win. Hey. Three acid bombs to clear out the mountains, that is. That'd be pretty decent right there. How does this work? I mean, no target available. Oh, I see. Okay. Can't throw it onto buildings. That's going to be a little awkward. Okay, and that's why I couldn't target it there. Also clear out the mountains in a more conventional way. That's funny. Hmm. I do that. this at least, right? Can't make it through. Hmm. 
definitely does one damage. I'd crack the tiles here. I don't know about that. Might be a bit awkward. Looks like we're going to have to use the acid launcher to... to, to uh, some stuff this turn. But again, I, we can use our own units to destroy the mountains pretty easily. I think this is really not an issue, especially if I KO one of the mountains like this. Stepping in the acid will be annoying, but not that annoying. So yeah, I do get to choose the range of how far they go. That's kind of cool, actually. Oh, flips the target. I didn't realize that. Not just damage, but flip. Flip the target. Okay, we can use that to our uh, advantage quite a bit. Well, this can just wipe those out, and then we can target here next turn. Easy. Still emerging from the cracks. This don't seem that dangerous. That's not going to work out the way I want it to. Oh yeah, actually, I could have broken the floor with the artillery there. Yes, I could have. Oh boy. Gastropod. Use a grapple to pull the VEC towards objects or units towards the VEC. Cool. Grapplers. I do this. Okay, so actually recracking a crack tile does not perform any additional function. Noted. Noted. The break. She kind of needs to know. Oh, you're just throwing the VEC onto a crack tile? Kill it? Yeah. It is going to go across the hole, though, apparently. I suppose that I'm okay with that. Let's find out how this works. Oh, we haven't even shot the acid launcher yet. Oops, I forgot about that. Could reset the turn. Just wanna, I need to science though. Acid applies second. That goes over gaps. Good to know. Okay, that's good to know. Completely okay with the grid damage there uh, for the learning that we got. That's good learning. That's some good learning. So if I were to kill this, actually, then we would get 
grappled to our death? Question mark? No, this will still work, right? We take two. Cool. Oh yeah, we can get the XP by doing this. Cool. Very good. Only took one grid damage because we wanted to, essentially. Defend the VI... Use the Detrius Contraption. A new prototype defense system. Oh, I want to try it. Sign me up. Shield Barrage. Give a shield to every unit. Missile Barrage. Fire a missile at every unit. Oh. Well, that seems fun. It's going to be pretty hard to throw them into the water. Thing's got good mobility. The buildings count as a unit. I guess we're gonna find out. I don't think so. Yeah, we have to use all of it to get the uh, the objectives. That's right. So if we'll, this knocks back, right? We can we can knock back the Alpha Leaper to uh, to do the thing here. Well, not if I'm planning on giving shields. We're attacking in this direction, so if we throw you, you'll hit this thing. Perfect. Could even spiral behind it. Because I have to do the one damage to everybody this turn, because I don't want to use the shields. This guy doesn't die. If you die, actually, hmm. got health for a reason. Now we're giving a shield, everybody. At the end of the turn. Ooh, that hole's a problem. My pitcher back. No! Shoot. Uh, oh, man. Can I make this work? Yes, good. Sort of. It means not blocking this shot, which means taking grid damage. That hole being there is a huge obstacle.
Seems like flying is pretty good with the squad. Yeah. No kidding. Pitcher does have four movement. Yeah, actually, yeah. We can body block with the pitcher now that I think about it. Yeah. Okay, that's not a big deal. Me then too. Okay, I'll do it this way. Throw my own unit, actually. That's an interesting thought. Should have repaired there. I'll just break all the ground. Do it. Make it happen. I think I want to go for another shield this turn on everybody. Die to that. Can't get all the way over there. So I can't actually kill this unit this turn. Let's just throw it out of the way then. Shield first, of course. Turns. Let's block then. What are the achievements for this squad? Crack ten tiles in one mission. So all I have to do is crack three more to get that one. Drop ten enemies into pits on one island. Destroy twenty mountains. Fun. <laughs> it's a lot of destroying things. You know, I think this is a really difficult squad, Mad Goji. This one really feels like the pits. So actually, killing you should be sufficient to crack all the required tiles. No refunds. Thankfully, I'm here to crack jokes at you all. Ha ha. Ha ha. 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 Hmm. Oh, this one's attacking downward. Got it. Not even important then. Pretty easy solve, huh? Yeah, okay. Contraption used.
Wait. Uh, let's... Fine? I think that's fine. Huzzah! Cool mission. The heap. Conveyor belts. Knock mites off the mechs. Excuse me? What do you mean knock mites off the mechs? Two VIPs. Lots of water tiles. That could be a lot of uh, drowning. More mech damage. Getting some more power seems like a reasonable idea. Teleporters here. Sure, let's do this one. Starting to get the hang of this squad, I think. Does the flip, flip attack rotate 180 degrees? Yes. Yes, it do. Shurzies. I think we judo throw this bouncer, although it's in a good position to do self damage here. We gotta flip this thing. Unless there's something better I can do. To crack some tiles, that doesn't gonna do what I want it to do though. Can't stay there though. Ah, didn't think about that. Okay, so we just have to do to throw this. Can't because of where you are. Lame. Try that again. Back into the building, either though. Order seems to indicate that will work just fine. Be there, and they're gonna get collision damage. Okay, so something like this. Oh, I get pushed too, that makes sense. Still does the backup damage, that's kind of neat. There we go. Enemies. Interesting. Interesting. 
is all nonsense. You need to be here to kill that guy. Got it. Can't throw from there. Locking a tail is not bad, though. Can throw things over the buildings. Just go here and repair. Yeah! Target each other! Is that going to destroy the pod? No idea. Probably. the alpha bouncer you throw that thing oh uh, yeah okay uh, that'll work I think Any better place to throw you? I don't think so. I think we want to throw you over here. you with the artillery that should be easy so drill you push you dodge you dodge you throw you Completely acceptable. The vac there, disengaging. GG. Kaibu, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Pleasure to have you here today. What's in the box? Just a reactor core. Still pretty good. Plus two more range on the throw would be really appreciated, I think. Let's get that first. Coal plant. That's viable. Here we go for two more rep. Sure, let's give it a try. Hit the gas. Two move actions. Understood. So they can barely move. That's going to make things tough. Lots of ways to throw people into the water here, though. Here. Can 
You... Oh, you're just trapped? Ah, oh, crap. Hmm... Well, that's bad. I guess we could knock one out of the way... and then relocate. That seems pretty viable. I reach the sign with the flyer. I sure can. Although I'm not actually sure how that helps. We can crack the terrain under our truck. Yay? Do something like push this guy. Let the truck drive out of the way. Well, that now kills the Scion. We could turn the other one around. Though it looks like this one is the one that needs help here. One turns around, the other gets driven. Let's keep the movement on this one. Yeah, you can run into the corner here. Oh wait, but that doesn't... Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. We'll both have to move then. Foolish. You still move backwards. Gonna have to get used to these weird pod bugs. The fact that they move even if they miss is throwing me off. Mm. So we can throw this one into the way. That'd be good. It's not enough to just donk that one. What about this? Hit both of these and push them. Yeah! We're attacking that. Who needs it? I'll just throw you in the water. Bye! You die. You attack and then back into this guy. So you should just KO yourself. Blocking. Actually, you're not blocking because crack ground or whatever. Eh. Doesn't seem like spawn tiles can be cracked. Am I seeing that correctly? I want to drive down to the corner because I didn't want to be near the spawning vec. I suppose. So you're already killing yourself. Bye. Sayonara!
Easy. Yeah, only cracks ad adjacent tiles to the tiles when a foe is killed by the drill. Ooh, conservative. Bonus to limited use items. Currently, we don't have any of those. But that could change. Time to go to Corporate HQ. The Bouncer Leader is here. Could be a bit of a toughie. We don't actually have that much direct damage other than, I suppose, the drill. Although maybe we can throw it into a chasm. I guess that's still an instant kill, right? They're immune to water, but not falling into a hole. Good. And one island. So if I throw four enemies into a pit, this combat will get the achievement. That seems difficult, but not impossible. If you do throw somebody into a cracked tile, it does transform into a chasm, and they do perish. Miserably, they die. this. Hoping they don't go, like, around. I think they only have three move. Oh, interesting attack pattern. So what is your attack? Damage and push three tiles, then move backwards. So I just move out of the way here. It's a pretty non-issue. Wait, I can... <gasps> Bruh. <laughs> Damage and push three tiles. Okay, so we just... Uh, alley -oop. Boop. <laughs> All right, have fun with that. Absolutely savage. <laughs> That's good. That'll even kill this guy before he gets to go. Right? They just die and he bonks. Oh, that's so satisfying. I don't want to push you back. I can't. I don't want to do that. I want to crack a tile. I don't need you to turn around, though. Understood. This really doesn't get a lot of... I'm sure it's fine. Problem is, if I cracked, uh, cracked any of those tiles, we would have prevented something important by accident. Okay, those are easily killed. I could throw it into the acid. Only throw forward, right? That's right. Acid or block the spawn. Easy choice of acid because it has a, a white attack, so it'd still hit the building if I put it on the spawn. Easy choice there. Well, I could put it on the spawn and then flip it around. That seems like the smart play. And then it'll back into the mountain to take bonus damage. Acid then attack with flyers that right kills it, huh? That sounds pretty good. That'll do, yeah, two damage. Yeah, chuck it into the acid, hit it with drill, and we block the spawn.
Oh no, you can have a cracked spawning tile. Plus one move, good. Yeah, that does remove the spawn tile, too. That's pretty cool. We're supposed to draw it, destroy a bunch of mountains. Could also break that spawn tile. Let's see, I'm not going to be able to get three more pits, huh? Let's just break some mountains. Immune would be nice. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. I'll take it. Is that the perfect mission for us? Perfect island, rather. Acid tank. Deploy a tank that can apply acid to targets. Silica. Mech can act twice if it does not move. Takes two power. Silica is very, very, very high potency. If uh, if you've got a mech that doesn't need to move a lot. Even if you don't push it into the building. That's right. Problems, problems. Thinking about trying to go double tank. Because we have a, a pilot. With, uh, conservative, right? So we could theoretically launch two tanks per mission, but that does take your attack action. Still, being able to paint stuff with acid for double damage is kind of interesting. Capacitor. <laughs> Alright, let's take the acid tanks. Put that on the artillery thing for now. Takes two power is the problem. We can fix that though. Void shocker. Grid charger. Killing an enemy. Killing an enemy will charge the power grid one point. Does one damage with one use per battle. Interesting. Can anyone tell me what the targeting of the grid charger is? Adjacent only, a ranged attack, or anything on the map? If it's anything on the map, I'll take it. Otherwise, probably not. I wish the, the preview showed something that wasn't directly adjacent. Laden chat says Jason only had it on a run had it on a run earlier. Thank you. Okay, let's just take three reactor cores. Let's 
Oh, that's right, and you can undo all, too, because you can do the, the test mech option. Of course. All right, let's swap our pilots here. So we got the plus one power. Another plus one damage on the capacitor is interesting. Actually, giving the acid tanks push sounds good. All right, let's do Iceland second. On behalf of Pinnacle, I welcome you. The climate on our island isn't ideal for humans, but the low temperatures are vital. Protect the cannon bot. And there's a squid thingy. Sure. Alpha Mosquito. Smoke the target, preparing to whip it. So it creates smoke on a tile. Then does three damage. Hm. It's not clear whether this cannon bot is going to try to help us or not. Oh, and I hate blubbers. Blah. Blobbers. So annoying. Yeah, I figured you would try to do that. Oh boy. Really hate blubbers. Throw the blob back. Yeah. <laughs> Which one's the hacking facility? The hacking facility is the one with a shield on it, thankfully. We are allowed to throw the blob bombs. But to what end, you might wonder. Stupid armor. the defense lab. Okay, that needs to be protected. Remember, we can reverse a target's attack direction. That does nothing for me here. Dang it. Looks like we'll have to take some grid damage here. Two grid damage. Actually, uh, we could put the artillery here. Do this, right? Hmm. Kills the blob. Kills the scion. Blocks the artillery shot. Requires me to deal with this, though, because this will then kill my unit. We could throw this here, have it attack the mosquito. And then what? Then the scarab... Scarab gets drilled. It lives, but it, it reverses the attack. That should work. That should work. That solves actually almost three problems at once, essentially.
Hmm. Buildings can get smoked. That's kind of interesting. Stinky blobs are such a problem, though. Skeeter. Throw the bomb. Then artillery these two. Yeah. Or I could actually deploy an acid tank too. Block the spawn with an acid tank? That's cute. I'd have to give them more health for that to be particularly good. If I deployed it with three health here, that'd be great. Only got one, though. Oh, they can shoot immediately? That was definitely not apparent. Noted. I thought they would have to wait until the next turn. We can launch another one. That's pretty cool. Okay, noted about that. That's an issue. break, I wonder. Double tank. Good. Good. Fine. Passable. Better. Great. Love to see it.
chasm. Okay, if you push at the same time as creating a chasm, the push takes precedence. That's good to know. I ever played 60 seconds reanimized. I've never heard of that one, multi hex or. Oh, destroy the hacking facility. Yep, definitely thought that said protect. Hmm. Whoops. I care not at all. God, I hate plovers. Please. Go away. Okay, I don't have to protect these mechs. Good. Out of the way, that bomb. We just go here. Fire like this. But then he can't. Hmm. Well, we still have this, right? Yeah. I underestimated the value of the additional tanks also giving the AI things to aim at that aren't buildings that can just move out of the way. Pretty sweet. Seems like a pretty straightforward turn overall, though. going to happen. Not sure why. Could throw this guy, but yeah, I will. Have fun. Bye. Yeah, exactly. The action economy with the additional tanks is pretty intense.
How would some of you like to fall into a hole? A whole lot of fun. building or whatever. Probably not going to get that mountains achievement. Just don't care enough. Glacier Cliff. Chain react the boom bots. That was fun last time. Let's spend this reactor core first. More health on the tanks. Alpha Mosquito. Really want the attack lines to be... Oh, you can't do that. What? What am I supposed to do when they go next to buildings? Wow, rude. Seems a little impossible if you look at if you ask me. Hmm. And they've got armor. Can't judo both of them in the same turn. It's just impossible to uh, protect these buildings. Maybe throw one, hit the other with missiles and move it, but then I can't stop this attack or this attack. At least they have one hit point. As if that's a good thing. Wouldn't say so. Not when they explode. Alright, is there anything we can do to take advantage of attack direction reversal nonsense? Signs point to no. Oh, how unfortunate. Excuse me for a few minutes. I'll take a long break shortly after this. Let's see what we can do this turn. I think the exploding bots are just going to do some grid damage, and I don't care. I think that's where we've arrived. So you're doing nonsense. You need to be stopped, but is it possible to stop you? I don't think it is. Because everything adjacent to you is in the way. So actually, it's just straight up not possible to protect this building, looks like. Unless there was some way I could displace that scarab, but with all four tiles around it occupied, it seems mostly impossible. Okay, well, if that's the case, blowing up the scarab, uh, the boom bot is not a big deal. Ubla, thanks for the generous raid. Welcome, Ubla and raiders. How you all doing today? And there's this stupid bomb. Is 
That means what? The minimum grid damage this turn is about three? Hell. Turn you around. One damage. Er. Kill this flip. Know where to throw things to make. All right, we need to at least get a tank on the field here. need to know some science. It doesn't collapse it. Okay. Noted. So that's my best turn if I do it this way. We take... Five grid damage? That's not acceptable. Let's see if we could do at least four. Launching the tank and solving nothing didn't help that much. The top boom bot be tossed to shoot the blob? No, because the boom bot will die and explode as soon as it's thrown. Although we might be able to make it explode and hit the blob. Uh, that's impossible because we can't get our mech into position. Unless... Uh, even then, it's impossible because the uh, l angle doesn't work out. So no, not even close. Okay, I see what we need to do, I think. I said tank here, shoot this thing out of the way. You kill this. Make some crack tiles. I'm gonna blow up. You throw the other boom bot out of the way. Yeah. Interesting that that uh, worked that way. Noted about the boom bots. Okay, three grid damage. It's gonna have to do. Resist! Come on, you got it! Yeah, three because uh, buildings can't take more damage than they have health. Each little structure is one hit point. So here we've got two, two grid here. Even if a, an enemy hits this with five damage, you only lose two grid defense. A bit of a saving grace there. Not enough to make a big difference here, but it helps.
deploy a tank here. Just move this out of the way. Although, you have no way to move out of the way. Hmm. Crack the bomb, move out of the way? Yeah. Also do that. Doesn't seem like it's gonna help because it doesn't let me deal with this. Take it. Double tank is definitely making a difference here in a much appreciated way. Good for blocking spawns too, which is pretty ridiculous. Destroyed. Into the pit. Use that so far. Eight. This island. Okay, so we can definitely sort that out. That wasn't too bad, all things considered. How's it going, Sekto? Sekoti. Hello, hello. Having a tough time with the unfair difficulty and into the breach, but it's been fun. Kill at least seven enemies by throwing them into pits. Can do. Protect the power generator. We'll have to deal with ice storms, but whose problem is that? Not mine. Lives up to his name in your opinion. I have to agree a little bit. So this happens first. Mark tiles will be frozen at the start of the enemy turn. Okay, you drive a hard bargain. Ah, oh, man, what a tough spot for the ice to happen. <laughs> I can't even move. Bummer. So infuriating. Hmm. I guess my judo mech can throw the shell scion out of the way. All right, 
I don't want to get frozen. Actually, wait, we can use that to my advantage? Hmm. Yes, I can use that to my advantage. Okay, that'll work. How do I stop this from happening? That's the question. Shoot a throw here. Throw my cast to drill it, I imagine. Go here, you go here. Yeah, that feels right. Oh, I think I did that in the wrong order. I did. Could have done one more damage to the Alpha Mosquito. I'm not going to reset the turn for that, though. Oh yeah, the bomb is going to go off. Nothing I can do about that. I guess I could have thrown the bomb instead of the... Uh... Oh, I completely forgot about that one, too. Jesus. Oh, I forget... Ah! I didn't even see that this mosquito was here. Unfair difficulty, indeed. I can't reset the mission now. Damn it. That's such a bummer. So many enemies, it's really hard to keep track of them all. Hmm. And the ice storm seems determined to absolutely screw me here. Which is interesting. At least the bomb will get frozen. You and you have to be dealt with, huh? Cracking a tail breaks the mountain. Interesting. Hmm. Not sure that I knew that. the bottom with you. You know, Bjorklia, at first I wasn't sure how this squad was supposed to kill enemies, but now I'm starting to get the whole picture. Got him. So we're definitely not getting a perfect island, but that's okay. There's many other things we can do successfully, I'm sure. Bot leader. One of our machines has somehow taken control of a Vec Hive and is assaulting Pinnacle Tower. So the bot leader. 
Launch rockets at three tiles. If damaged, this unit will shield itself and prepare to heal. I think we can just throw it into a hole. Probably gonna zap the Scion first. We'll see what the enemies do. Not where I wanted the shell scion to go. I'm gonna cancel the attack. Flip it around so it hits over here with our drill. Tank that hit to the face. Ignore the bomb. Deploy an acid tank around over here or something. All right, yeah, this feels right. Not doing anything special, though. It's interesting. You wanted to throw this first? Probably. You can just throw the bomb. Does not seem to matter much. Here we go. That I can work with. We go here, crack the bomb. Oh, wait. Five point one, two, three. You gotta get out of the way. Shoot, actually. Well, we can throw the bot leader into a hole next turn, I guess. That seems fine. Okay. Not this stupid thing. Frozen bot is helpful to me, so probably don't want to deal with that thing. Okay, that's an easy kill. Easiest kill of them all.
Station. This squad is very good. That's what I've arrived at. The squad is awesome. You're at max XP. What kills on the other ones then? Where possible. Island complete. We failed one objective along the way because of a mistake, but not too bad overall. Quick fire artillery. Two artillery shots in different directions. Another tank. Light tank. Deploy a small tank to help in combat. It's got three damage shots, potentially. Could go quad tank build. That'd be kind of fun. Control shot. Temporarily control a unit, moving at a short distance. Oh my. Oh, I like that idea. Yeah, I want to buy that. Give that to me. And I think I'll go one reactor core, two grid power. That sounds good. So this is just free. up the move on that a little bit. Wonder if I can cause them to fall to their deaths or not. Oh, that's a new enemy type. I don't want to deal with burrowers. Ah, oh, spooters are so nasty though. Yikes. Strongly dislike spooters. Defend the tanks. You got it. Starfish. Four oblique tiles. Yikes. And a burning scion. Vec are immune to fire and are uh, leave fire when they die. It's interesting. Scorpion's probably going to entangle a tank or something annoying. Can't move these yet. Great. Just great. Yeah, turn one seems to be really consistently nasty. To the point where I consistently don't know what to do about it. Hmm. Throw this over here. Take care of the sputer. I think I'm going to lose both tanks this turn, though. It seems really unlikely anything else is going to happen. Like, I can't even move my units. If I waste time freeing them, I'll have no actions left to deal with the rest of the threats. Although, what if I do... Bum, bum, bum. Oh, wait, I have a triple solve here, right? If I can push all three down... Oh, there might be an easier solution than I thought, actually. Try this. Oh, 
Okay, that looks a lot better. That looks a lot better. Can move that. That's so intriguing. Just flip it around instead. Okay, actually, there was a total solve there on turn one, thanks to the three, actually more than three problems solved at once. Good stuff. these things would do three, huh? So you're telling me I can just have you go over here and attack your friend? Because that seems nice. I think I like this squad. Deliberately. Three, then five. Acid tank this turn. Push you here, you attack. A lot of important stuff, actually. Let's do that. you again instead of controlling you now. Although... Yeah, with the control, I can't get you to any key locations. Break those mountains. Of a scruffle here. Oh, good, the tanks are online. Just can only can push though. But still, that's useful. drill. Find me some oil. So if I just move out of the way, two kills three. Two kills three, then four can kill two.
One, two, three. Are we at 12? 12? 12 out of 20. It's not too bad. Might have to go four islands if I want to get that achievement this run. But that's pretty doable. Does acid damage the mountain? Don't think so. Throw mountain. I don't know why, but you can't. Seems ridiculous to me. That doesn't do anything. I didn't think so. Huzzah! Thick skin! Immunity to acid and fire. We'll take it. Get more move to the control shot. I don't think so. What am I going to do with one reactor core here? Not sure. Kill at least seven enemies, protect the coal plant. Kill six or fewer, protect the power generator. All right. Six or fewer could be a problem. Wait, does that... Tell me the eggs don't count. Jesus. Eggs don't count, but the spiderlings will. Thanks. Definitely not the answer I wanted, but okay. Uh, this turn seems psychotic, too. Throw this one up into the corner, I guess. I don't think there's any way to stop this one from attacking this building. Just like straight up. Don't think it's possible. I have to drill this, probably. Or launch an acid tank that pushes it into my... Guy. I don't have enough movement to mind control this thing, right? One, two, three, four, no. Remote control solves it, but I can't reach it with remote control. This is only targets adjacent things. So it's completely inaccessible and impossible to solve, I think. Can't even get another Vec to kill it, because it's first. So I think we just let this building be destroyed. That's fine by me. I'm cool with that. I 
here. Do you want to block? You want to block the thingy? Have fun. Okay, yes, that didn't kill, thankfully. Turn you around. I could move you into the death zone. I don't want to do that, though, because I don't want to kill it. Yet. Oh, wait, shoot. It still hits a building there. Well, screw me. I officially hate starfish. Even real ones. Catch me going into the ocean and stomping things later. Let's see, this turn looks a lot less terrible. Help me kill the mountains, thank you. You're doing silly things. Five and then three, huh? Good. I don't know if that's going to kill the pod. I guess we'll do this. Actually, you die, right? Didn't need to do that necessarily. Dying. Can't throw the mountains. Yeah, keep it up. Tell those stinky mountains to get lost. that with the tank. That's 
what tanks are for, after all. Tanking. need to make it a four island run. That's good. That should be all three achievements for this squad, I think. Yes. Crack ten tiles, drop ten enemies into pits, destroy twenty mountains. We got it all. And we got Kai Miller's back. She's a popular hero, which means she'll sell for more reputation, which means we'll sell her at the end of the map into the uh, blah, 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 islands. All right, now I have two reactor cores. Let's put those to good use. Even more damage on the capacitor? Sounds pretty decent. Or we could just go more like movement stats and such. I'm gonna up the capacitor. And the sat launches, huh? I'll take a little bit more grid power. Secondary archives sound good. More starfish. A smoldering scion. Okay, so we want to be in places where multiple diagonals don't work out. Uh, also, hold on. Um, not in places where we can have three people webbed, uh, more, more than one unit webbed by one egg here. That'd be bad. Okay, that'll work. What does grid power do? Grid power is essentially our health for the run. Anytime buildings are damaged, we lose grid power. Grid power reaches zero, the run is over. So it is the most important stat in Into the Breach. They can web their own guys? Interesting. Did not know that. It's deeply fascinating. So this is not technically a problem, except it kind of is. This is also not technically a problem, except for the part where the time pod's in the way. That's a really good mind control. We block the Alpha Firefly shot and kill the spider. How do we deal with the starfish, though? Uh, we can have a two-for-one solve here, right? That's not a two-for-one solve. This is still threatened. How do I solve that? Oh, I hate these starfish. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, then I throw it. And where would I throw it? That doesn't hit a building. I could reposition the starfish after doing that, but all the valid targeting tiles will strike a building. All of them. This one does, this one does, this one does. Can't throw it to this tile. Can't throw it backwards if it's up against the map. So we can only throw into one, two, three, these three tiles. All three of which hit at least one building. So that's not great. How much move does the throwing mech have? Five. Not enough to go all the way around the long way, certainly. Could use the mind control mech to move this one. Have the throw mech move this one instead. It's only a rank two move, unfortunately. Might just be able to kill it with the acid tank. Flop here. 
acid will... I, I Actually, yes, I can just kill it with the acid tank, because the acid will push it here and break this. Yes, that's correct. Like that. And now I can kill it with a drill or something similar. Well, that means I can't use the mind control thing in the way that I want to, right? That's right, I can't. Understood. This is only one, so I have to drill it. Mm. Not quite the turn I wanted, but it's pretty good. Well, that means I need to throw this one so we don't lose the time pod. If I just throw it one tile over, it'll kill the Scion. Leaving the spider alive was not my favorite choice, though. Definitely like putting the Alpha Firefly on the spawn tile. That'll kill the spider. We just need to re relocate a little bit. This is a problem, though. Get into the fire, throw it onto the fire. That's right, get in the fire, throw it onto the fire. You heard me. kill quite a few more enemies here if we want the bonus objective to be accomplished so we need to step it up a bit I don't think I quite did that as intended doesn't matter Bye. Easy. 
Wait, what? Where did I lose the time pod? Cracking the ground destroys the time pod. Okay, noted. Glad I noticed that. Okay, we'll do a little bit of a difference then. Uh, we just have to go to a different tile. Cracking the ground destroys the time pod. There we go. Cool. Very cool. Ice generator. Classic. One use per battle, freeze yourself and nearby tiles, and you can make it real big. And that could be pretty good on the drill mech. Ice generator is very breakable. That's for sure. We'll be abusing that in the final mission. Maybe I'll lose the tri rocket. Oh, but these are both science class weapons. Okay, yeah. Cool. It's time for Chronology Hall. Not to be confused with Carnegie Hall. And deploying so as not to get spoodered too hard. Okay, at least one of those didn't do anything too bad, but come on. That does three. Okay, so tank here. We could even like... Ooh, that's a fun way to solve that problem. <laughs> if we ice the satellite rocket. It'll get freed when the Alpha Scorpion attacks it. It's pretty funny. That's an ice solution to that problem. This is already not a problem. I think we'll just control you. Have you kill the spooter. Yeah, don't freeze the satellites unless the satellite will also become unfrozen very shortly thereafter. Yeah, I get it. Totally get it. Could also tank push here. Or judo throw. By judo throw. No, no, it still dies. That's right. I actually quite like this as a solution here. Now you die, right? That's right. You. Oh, but that hit gets hit. Okay, I'll reset the turn. Stinky. Stinky problems. I just needed to do that slightly differently to here, but then this is a problem. The spiderling. Still like that uh, solve, so I'm just going to continue to take it just with the adjustment here. Spiderling won't attack immediately, right? I don't think so.
Okay, we can use a tank to push. Oh no, it'll still attack the building first. Hmm. That's an odd, odd problem. So you're going first. You are a huge problem. You need to be not where you are. Basically ever. Be able to solve multiple problems. Spiderling's an issue, though. If I throw you here, you hit that building. We learned that lesson the hard way. That hits the thingy. That's fine, though. Could throw the spooter. <laughs> Doesn't seem that useful. Don't worry to mind control for the starfish here that's safe. It's a slight obstacle. One, two, three, can't. Without an additional move of some kind. Using the buildings is a fun option. Doesn't mind control move two tiles? Yes, it does. The problem is if we end our t we, we can only mind control from these two tiles, and if we end our turn there, we'll die for when the satellite launches. So we're not allowed to end our turn here or here. That's the problem. And what a problem it is. I can actually just kill this with a drill. That might be the easiest solve there. Does freeze protect against the instant death from the rocket? Good question. Because we could get over here and freeze these tiles, right? So we could be here and then freeze. Interesting. Very interesting. Doesn't, says untalented. I lost a mech that way. Well, that would be my expectation. Kind of like falling into a chasm. Instant death is always instant death, even if you're frozen or shielded. Got it. So no, is the short answer there. Oh, if only this slightly differently located. If I could kill the spiderling with the acid tank, I'd have a much easier time. I can't. Therein lies the rub. Throw them here. Only if the spiderling's gone. Dang. 
I could like judo throw out of the way after the mind control. Seems pretty ridiculous. Vaguely reasonable option. Do acid tanks cause knockback? Yes, I could use that to push the starfish now. Although it'll still be targeting a building. If I freeze that building, it might not be an issue. Oh yeah, I could I could freeze the starfish if I do it this way, huh? Also death. You still doesn't solve this one. Just freeze from here, though, yeah? I'm gonna freeze. The acid tank is not helpful. The one on the other side, yes. That one we could push. If we push it here, it hits this building. If we push it here, yeah, still hits a building either way. If pushed one tile in either direction is the problem. So no, not acceptable. And the enemies don't do quite enough damage. Each other. Drat indeed. How about this? Oh, I don't have that anymore. Never mind. Don't have the artillery. Will shoot. What rocket? There are no rockets that can destroy buildings here. Really wish the other sat had chosen a launch. Satellite launch? Satellites are not adjacent to buildings and cannot be. There's no way to make that happen. Don't know why you would ask about that. Something that is eternally impossible. Hmm. Yeah, even repositioning the starfish results in taking additional grid damage. This isn't orthogonally. Doesn't have any range. Shoot. I got a judo throw. Oh, I can't even put this in a death spot, right? So this would be the safe spot. Yikes.
Probably better to mind control this one, huh? Can't even do anything good with that. So I can just kill it. It's probably the winning move. Does the satellite still go frozen? No, that will also be mission failed. Possible to deal with this actually without taking too great damage, huh? All right, screw it. I'll change my expectations then. Two grid damage is fine. Hurl you through the air? I actually kill you by doing that. Not exactly thrilled with that, but it's definitely set us up for an easy rest of the mission, if nothing else. You do that. Uh, don't freeze that. Block some stuff. Barely even attacking anything. My pilot! Did that to myself. Brain's starting to fizzle a little bit. Fortunately, we had a spare. Take it. Uh, what is the truck? Yeah, because we had equipped that. Got it. Anything that changed here that I care about? Not really. That's fine. Tumblebug. What do tumblebugs do? 
Create two explosive boulders, preparing to destroy one next turn. Which then chain react. That looks problematic. <clears throat> Although the boulders don't necessarily destroy immediately, so you can solve that a little bit. So you must destroy the leader and protect the tower, of course. There's them bombs. A bit cramped looking in here, wouldn't you say? What an ice job. the starfish with the tumblebug leader. Has a tank here. Blomp. Trillum. Blomp. Actually, that would be pretty good for me, huh? So we send an acid tank drill. Judo would have to throw. That means we still take this two grid damage. Uh, I'm fine with that. There might be a better way through this turn. I just want this run to be over, though. Actually, is this going to work the way I want it to? Oh, actually, I don't even need to deal with this thing, huh? Because you're going to blow up that rock, and then, well, bad times ahead for you. Guess I could throw this one out of the way, then. Be gone! Tell me this rock explodes for one, yeah? Cool. Have fun. Bye! Alright, so that's the mission gone, basically. Now we just do whatever the heck we want. Important question, can I just make you walk into the chasm? No. No, I can't. Duly noted.
This looks like a bit of an obstacle for our poor tank. But is it really? It's a cracked spawning tile, so we can sort that out. I'm inclined to just let them kill that unit. It's not actually important to me. Actually, we can also do this. Bombing run. Colin bombers dealing damage to every tile in a row or column. Another limited use weapon. Kind of cool. Could use that instead of the freeze. I like the freeze. Just give me grid power. Just a very good boost popular hero. I want the conservative hero. Okay. 12 rep. Rebounding volley. Fascinating. Good old Prime Spear. Could slap the Tri Rocket onto Pitcher Mech here. Or just more movement on the control shots. I like having another option that isn't the lift. With the plus two size ice generator with two uses per mission, we should be mostly good. Try rocket wrong class, that's right it is. You can equip off class things for a reasonable fee of one additional power. Actually pretty good. Interesting spawn spots. Two Alpha Hornets, Beetle Leader, Scorpion Leader, and a good old Blobber. Gotta love the Blobbers. Alright, we're gonna put Triptych up close. We would like to just ice everything this turn. Let's see how that works for me. This is it! This is gonna be a very easy final mission, I assure you. Most overpowered thing about freezing enemies is that they are not dead, therefore... Usual penalties aren't going to apply. Or, like, it's not going to cause any extra units to spawn. This frees everybody. And you'll even block a spawn if you go there. Might be worth it. Let's see, are you able to go through your friendly units? No. Noted. I 
Always just repair to free myself. How's it going, Merle? If you were to play this game, would I recommend starting with the base game, or could you, should you jump right into the Advanced Edition? Kind of similar with FTL Faster Than Lights, essentially the Advanced Edition adds a bunch of different mission types, equipment, pilots, etc. Overall, just more kind of base content. Um, I think the that just starting with Advanced Edition is a, a great idea, personally. Just lots more options, more stuff. Might be a little bit more overwhelming at first, but... Just having access to more things is going to be pretty enjoyable, uh, I imagine. Don't necessarily recommend starting with the unfair difficulty, which is definitely as advertised. <laughs> We've been having a hard time with it, but uh, haven't lost yet, so maybe not so unfair after all. Hmm. More ways to die, that's right. It's a fun toss. And then I could even move, right? This. Okay. Mission's over. Actually stop that. <laughs> when do they unfreeze? If they take damage. And not before. So, unless uh, something were to damage them, our mechs can unfreeze by repairing themselves. But otherwise, it doesn't happen. It just does not happen. Ooh, crash report. Error, exception, access, violation. Neat. I broke it. Good job for me. Let's try that again. Uh, we might have to restart that mission. Apparently trying to drill the ice was not advised. Okay, good. Actually, we didn't even lose a thing. So will it do that again? <laughs> Reliable. I've reproduced the error and may now submit a report. Let's try that one more time. Oh, I broke it. Uh oh. Where's the AFQ chair over there? Welp. <laughs> Error reproduced successfully, apparently. Um, hold on. Do we... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to count that as a win. We still have the three achievements for the Cataclysm Squad. We just don't get to finish that run, apparently. I'll try restarting one more time, see if we get a... Uh... See if we get a continue option, but looks like that runs over. Unable to sync. Oh, I see what happened. Let me try one last thing. Yeah, we had a steam cloud problem. Uh... But no. So that's what they mean by unfair. Yeah, it's okay. It's gone. It is gone, so I guess that runs over. We'll basically call that a W. Next time we come back to Into the Breach, I'll play with a different squad. Since we got the three achievements for the squad, I don't really care about the lack of having the finish achievement. I don't care about unlocking the special squad on this profile. Oh well. So, 
I think we're going to win that mission easily if the freeze was working in as intended, but shame to have it disappear on us like that. GG. GG. All right, folks, that's going to be it for me today. We'll be doing more Into the Breach soon. Be some Slay the Spire tomorrow as well. I want to get some more wins on our year-long challenge. But overall, advanced edition of Into the Breach looking very fun. The unfair difficulty looking suitably challenging. But very, very winnable still. GG. GG. See you later, Sakoti, Frost Magic ED, Annabelle, El Pollo Batman, This is Vivification, Sacraville, Twitch Tarek, Bjorkley, Said No One, El Pollo Batman, everybody else. Thanks so much for watching. Ta ta for now. And I'll see you the next time we go into the breach. GG, folks. GG. And good night. Toodaloo.